Try that again. <laughs> this is live. What's up, everybody? We're live. Monkey Puzzle here. And welcome, everybody. We're going to do a two hour. Try that again. <laughs> oh, this is live. Hold on. What's up, everybody? We're live. I've got my page open over there because I'm going to be using that to show you some stuff um, today. And welcome, everybody who's here. Thank you for coming through. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Gaming Economist. Thank you for joining today. Um, I'm going to take this down, but I appreciate everybody coming through, whether you're coming through live or later. The subject of today is that Icarus, which folks who watch me know that uh, I've played a lot of. haven't played it a lot recently, but I definitely put my time into it. Icarus has just launched dedicated servers. They've been out for one year, and... Uh, that is important because Icarus has struggled with performance. Um, previously, they were using a sort of hybrid peer-to-peer -peer system where the data was stored on, um, on Icarus's servers, but the, the game world and everything was hosted by the players. So whoever started the world was basically hosting the world for everybody else. What's up, Joe? What's up, Papa H? Hey, everybody. So, that, yeah. Um, and that meant that whoever started the world first was struggling to uh, host the world for everybody else. And it really kind of crippled the game in a lot of ways. So they still are offering that, although they just did this data decentralization, where now where the data, instead of being hosted on Icarus's servers is being um, hosted by the players. So you have your own data now, which does uh, arise to some potential exploits. Hopefully none of you are going to do that because that would take all the fun out of it. Um, but they're also introducing this new system of being able to host the game on a dedicated server. And the benefit of that is the server is going to be able to do a lot of the heavy lifting and hopefully that's going to help a lot of the performance issues that have been crippling Icarus in the past. What's up, Pookie? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be sort of a hybrid of my usual stream and the beginning part, at least, for the first half hour or so, depending, I can go on. I get to show you guys how to set up a Icarus server, and then we're going to jump on and play on it. Now, G Portal is sponsoring me to do this. This is my very first sponsored stream, but I feel okay about that because, uh, you know, my integrity is important to me and I wanted to do this anyway. I was going to be figuring out how to host a Icarus server anyway, because that's just what I would do. And I've been working with them for a long time. I paid for them way before I was sponsored. They actually sponsored, so far they've only sponsored our servers, but today they're actually paying me to teach you guys how to set up a server on G portal, which is cool with me. Cause uh, that's a lot of fun for me and hopefully it'll be good for you. I would be very happy to empower you guys and how to do this. What's up ladybugs. <laughs> You're sleepy pookie. I'll try to wake you up. Um, yeah. So, so that's why it's important. It's a brand new thing. The servers are the whole Icarus server thing is still in beta. So there's going to be some jank to it, but that's nothing new for Icarus. Um, but yeah, uh, G Portal is very cool. I used them way before I had this uh, sponsored relationship with them. And they have some of their own jank too, I'm not going to lie. But the reason I've used them is because I think they honestly offer some of the best performance of the server hosts. I've been hosting servers. I've been a community admin for... Minecraft and Ark and V Rising and now Icarus and uh, God, I'm forgetting the rest of them, but I've hosted a lot of servers for folks and this is kind of what I do. Um, and I've gone through a lot of hosts and I actually settled in with them because I found that they had the best performance and they got this really unique feature, the way they do their cloud servers and the way the slots work and the way you can switch between games really easily it's pretty unique. I haven't found it anywhere. So I'll go into that later on how you can do that. Um, but let me show you how you can do this. So we're going to set one up and then we're going to jump on our own 
uh, for, uh, uh, let me just get this over here. We're going to play a sticks map together with the Iron Man community, and I'm going to set the server up in front of you to do that. So here is my stream today, and down here, there's a link. Uh, so that's my referral link. You don't have to use that, but if you use that, you'll get 10% uh, off, and it helps the channel, and it helps incentivize uh, G Portal to uh, let me do streams like this in the future. Um, so if you click on that link down in the description, the first link in there, it will take you to this page and you can see they got a lot of different games right now uh we're hosting some uh, conan conan exile servers for our community we've been having a lot of fun with that we've also done art right, we've done i've done four of the five of these i haven't done farm sim yet i know joe would love that if we did one of those he plays that a lot um, but they got a whole bunch of games uh, you can see here that they pretty much every multiplayer server game that you can host, uh, they, they've got it. Um, and so Friday, they just started being able to offer Icarus. It just came out. So this is brand new. So we're going to click on that and, uh, you are, you're lurking in farm simulator right now. <laughs> <laughs> right on. One of these days we'll have to host one of those. Um, so if you go to the Icarus server hosting page, uh, you can see they give you a number of options you can choose from. 30 days, 90 days, 30 days. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and create our own configuration. You could just choose one of these. If you want uh, servers, Icarus servers only go up to eight slots. You don't have to have eight slots, but you can get up to eight slots. Uh, so if you click over here, and we'll go order now, and you can see right up here, it says, thanks to Muzzy Monkey Puzzle, you will get 10% off all game servers. Support him directly. I actually don't get supported directly, except that, um, well, except for making this video. Um, but what that does do is uh, let me host free servers for uh, my Iron Mind community that we do. So anyway, this part's pretty easy. Um, you can choose the duration. If you're really going to max out the discount here, you'd go for like a year. And instead of paying 53 bucks for a year, you'd pay 48 or depending on what we choose here. Um, because this one I'm going to set up here is just kind of a dummy server, a test server to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to just do it for three days. And so the savings are minimal for three days. It's a uh, 301 instead of 335. Um, but I'm going to do the full eight slots here. And uh, you know what? Uh, in fact, uh, I'm just going to go for four because uh, we're not going to use this one. And uh, let's you can pick your region. So you definitely want to pick the region that's closest to you. Uh, there is somewhere where you can test the ping on the different servers. I have to admit, I actually... I was supposed to show you that, but I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> but uh, we'll choose Los Angeles right there. Um, that's actually the closest to me geographically. And yeah, I wish I remember where you could test the ping on here. But uh, anyway, generally, you're pretty safe either picking the one that's closest to you or the one that's sort of central between you and the rest of the friends that you're going to play with. So we'll just choose uh, L.A. because that's closest to me. And then go on and continue here. Boop. And then, then you got to pay. There would be a step where you register um, and just put your info start a G Portal account. I already have one, so it skipped that step for me. And then, and then you just go ahead and pay, um, which you need credit card, PayPal, all this other stuff. I have a balance here, so I'm just going to use that. Um, and pay that whole dollar forty-eight. It would have been dollar sixty-five, and pay with that balance. So we're going to order that server. They wanted me to show you that much, but I actually want to show you how to configure it. And there was some kind of stuff that uh, I had to figure out. We're going to activate now. I'm just going to take this over here for a second because uh, it's going to make sure that it's not going to show you the IPs of my other server. 
Okay, it says go to game server configuration. And here we go. So yeah, it is right here. Oop. So it's updating right now, it says, which means that uh, it's installing the server. Um, so, and uh, let me, while it's doing that, let me show you one other thing. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click up here where it says go to dashboard. Um, and I'm just being cautious and taking it off screen for a second. Uh, Cause yeah, it would have shown you the IPs of my other servers. Uh, but I can do this and show you guys right here that uh, this is the game cloud that I have been using for Iron Mine. Uh, right now, this one's not up, but we have a Seven Days to Die server. We have two Conan servers uh, with Iron Mine Exiles and then Iron Mine Exiles on SIPTA. And we have our own Icarus server, which we're going to be playing on in just a moment. But down here. Uh, is the one that uh, I just started here. So this is an, another game cloud because the other one was uh, in the East Coast in Washington, D.C. This one's in Los Angeles. So we've got an Icarus game server now, but we also have a game cloud. And what this is, is there's four slots in your game cloud now. So I could delete this Icarus server right now and I'd still have four slots as long as I had paid. And then I could go ahead and press add server here and turn that into any other game. Or if I had eight slots on here and it takes a minimum of four to play, I could adjust the number of slots on this down to four and then use those other four slots to do another game. And that is super flexible because most hosting companies you host a certain game and you just have that game and you have to cancel the whole thing and then start a new one. I haven't seen anyone that lets you like flip slots around like this. Cause like, uh, you know, it's, it's just really versatile. You can spin up games anytime you want. You can take them down, start new ones. And a lot of times when you first start a game, you'll need a lot more slots because you know, it's really popular in the first few days or the first week. So you'll do, 20 slots on your new arc server and then as it starts to get less popular you can kind of tone that down to 10 slots and then use those other 10 slots somewhere else or just reduce them uh, to save money anyway let's go into here and configure it now and i'll show you everything i learned i did a lot of research the last couple of days on how to do this and so it's still installing uh <laughs> hey jay yeah i'm I'm not a shill for them at all, but that is a feature that I think is really cool. What's up? How you doing? So it's installed now. So that's pretty cool. Um, and there's a bunch of things we can do. This right here, we're going to just go, and go through this list real quick. And this is true for pretty much any server we rent here. Uh, the only thing it's lacking is mods. There's no mods on here yet for Icarus, but I'm sure that will come soon. Um, but right now we're on the status page. The status page shows you the CPU usage and the RAM usage, so you can see if that's spinning out of control or not. Um, and down here is the access data for uh, uh, accessing your server through uh, FTP, File Transfer Protocol. Is there a way for us to host a server ourselves and not use something like Jupyter Portal? Absolutely. And uh, I'm going to show you some info on that as well. If you're good with that kind of stuff, you can definitely do a dedicated server from uh, your own computer that you're playing on or another computer in your network. Um, yeah, I like to use Gportal because I only go so far with this stuff. And, uh, you know, a lot of people like to set up their own service through Steam Command and all that stuff. And that is totally valid and a good way to do it. Um, but I only go so far with my techie stuff. Right on, Jay. <laughs> Eating some soup while being emotional support for your friend's PC repairs. <laughs> Those things can get very emotional, for sure. Uh, so, yeah, so this is the status page, and there's a couple other key buttons on here. If your game gets borked and you think the game files are corrupt, you can press repair here, and that will reinstall the game 
without messing up your world files or your player files. So you can do that. Um, this is like a community support page with like basically a wiki of stuff they've accumulated. And this is a support if you want to put in a trouble ticket, which they're usually very good about responding to. That's exactly the same as this button over here. Um, so we'll come back to this page because I'm also going to show you how to do FTP, which is uh, pretty useful and n not necessary necessarily, but I think it, it's the old school world. It, excuse me. It's the old school way to do it. And I still go back to that a lot. Uh, but over here is the uh, basic settings page. Now, Icarus has a lot fewer basic settings than a lot of other games. If this was Conan, we would have like five pages of options here. Um, but it doesn't have that. This is good info for Nem, says Buki. Be sure to tell her about the stream and have her watch. Thank yeah, absolutely. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and it's pretty cool that they're actually like sponsoring me to do it. It's kind of a real kick in the pants. Um, so you get to name your server here. So we can do, uh, let me get my keyboard over here. We can do this, we'll call this one uh, Monkey Puzzles Test server i don't know if apostrophes are allowed we'll find out we only uh got four slots so that's the max we'll do password so we'll do top secret well this one will just be a password <laughs> and then there's the admin password that'll be top secret so you know this is a good uh tutorial on how to make super strong passwords obviously uh now icarus is unique in the ones that i've done so far in that it starts with a server lobby where you can then spool up uh different prospects missions and maps and stuff which i actually haven't seen in the game before so it resembles a lot of what it's like just starting a game uh in the uh, co-op experience uh, and i'll show you how that works it's a little bit borked right now but i'll show you where it's borked and how to get around it um, otherwise, if you had other games in here, you could start just directly with those and skip the lobby entirely. Um, and then you've got basically these three options, and that's about it at the moment. Uh, you can have it just go directly to loading the last save game, and that would basically skip the lobby. You can allow non-admins to launch prospects. So the way the server works is, is different than most other servers with this lobby and everything is most servers like Conan or Ark or whatever, they run perpetually whether you're playing or not. Um, so the, uh, let's do something here, boop. Um, they, whether anybody's on them or not, they're always going to keep happening and time will keep passing in that world. The way Icarus is set up right now, and there's another place we can we can uh, kind of configure this, is when someone hasn't been on for five minutes, the world shuts down. So if someone goes back on, they go back to the lobby instead of loading into the world. And don't worry, I'm going to demonstrate all this. And then if anybody but the admin wants to start, get on and play the game they're allowed basically to start up the server again, or they're allowed to start a new map, um, a new prospect or mission or open world or outpost. If they do that, everybody who loads in while that's on can only load into that world. So even though you can launch multiple worlds from this one server, which is pretty unique, you can only play one world at a time, as far as I know. Um, I tried turning this off because I was a little leery of people uh, starting a whole bunch of different worlds, but then they couldn't join unless the admin had joined first. So that's not going to work because I'm not going to be playing all the time. Um, but I did leave this one off of allowing non-admins to delete prospects. So someone can't mess up and come and delete the world that everybody else is um, on. Does that make sense? Uh, let me know if you guys got any questions about that. Uh, but the next page here is configuration files. Now, this is not going to work because we haven't started the world yet. As soon as we start a world, and remind me to show you, you'll be able to see the uh, server INI configuration file here, and you'll be able to go in and change certain things there. 
but we have to have started uh, a world first. So we'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn this on. So it starts the, the process. Um, and then a couple of things here is this page, you can see the logs of everything that's happened in the server. Um, so that's good if you're trying to do some detective work. Now this one, I always forget to, to change when I start a server. Basically, this is auto update. Whenever there's an update to the game, the game automatically updates, which basically kicks everybody off and restarts the server. So that can be a little awkward. I generally turn that off. There is an option on the next page where, uh, well, this is a restart schedule. You can have it be scheduled to automatically restart. Um, but again, you can kind of train people that that's going to happen. And it's very good to restart your servers at least daily because that refreshes the RAM and everything and helps them keep, keep them running right. But I usually do it with more of a personal touch and all the folks I play with are, we're all in the discord together. And I kind of see if anybody's on, if they are, I say, Hey, could you get off? Cause I don't want to mess anybody up in the middle of some boss fight or something like that, have them lose all their stuff and make them really unhappy and so on. Um, somewhere in here is there is a thing on a lot of this. Oh, I forgot to say when I did that, where you can, have it do this automatic thing when it does restart to give people like 10 minutes notice. But I'm actually not seeing that here. I, maybe that's not available on Icarus at the moment. What's the Bly? Okay. Yeah. We'll be ready to start uh, jumping in in about 30 minutes. Boop. And then here's the backup feature. It's pretty easy. You can also back up stuff manually yourself with FTP, or uh, you can just do create backup here. I don't have anything to back up yet, so I'm not going to do that. And then over here in permissions, if there's other people you know that you also want to allow them to be admins on the server, which is pretty handy, especially if it's like someone on the other side of the world, so you can have sort of 24 hour admin access or someone who, you know, is nocturnal and you're diurnal or whatever. Uh, they have to have a G portal account, but then you put their G portal username in here and uh, then you can add them. Uh, so like, this is where every time I spin up a server, I add a Raleigh here so that he can also manage the server. Um, yeah. And then there's support here where you can write tickets or check out the wiki or the forum. Um, and that's what both of these are right here. So it's pretty easy to do this on, uh, Icarus because there's so few options. If we were, like I said, if we were doing an ARC server or a Conan server or something, I'd have like a hundred different options to go through with you. I wish there were more options. There's certain things I would like to be able to adjust. Now, I messed up when I changed this. I didn't press save. So I'm glad I looked at this again because uh, my settings didn't stay because I am multitasking. But we had the uh, password. In fact, let's make it even less complicated and not capitalize it. And then we got top secret. And then that was it. Boop. If you do have a uh, hundred pages of options here, you can also, there's these things which will make them into columns instead of an all one long list, which can be a lot easier. So let's go over to, um, and this, that's saved. I just saved these options while the server was on. So I'm going to restart it because these things will not stick until there's been a restart. So you can do restart right here. Now uh, it's pretty easy. You can also just manually switch it off right here and then switch it back on. Or when I do restarts on the Conan and arc servers and everything else that I run, I actually like to do it through the backup menu because when you press create backup, it actually stops the server, creates a backup and then restarts it. So that way I never get into trouble. And that's one of the key things of being an admin in the server um, is to be flawless is just always make backups. So when things inevitably get destroyed sometime and all the buildings are missing or people's gear is gone or someone's dead or whatever, you can roll back if it's serious enough. 
and um, be like, hey, I got it. I got you. I always got backup. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead um, put this to the side for a second. And we are going to start up Steam and play Icarus. I always got to start it from here because I like to play in DX12 because um, my system can handle it. And it's just a lot prettier. Backups are your best friend. Always bring backup. Indeed. All right. And they've got a new splash screen and a new logo since the last time I played. Um, but we we'll just go ahead here and go play. And then you select the character. Be nice if they uh, update this screen at some point. And then go ahead and join right here. And then peer-to-peer -peer servers right here is your usual way you played, although it's changed a little bit now. Um, I don't think necessarily for the better, but that's besides the point right now. We're going to go over here to dedicated servers, and then we're going to search for Monkey Puzzle. So there it is. Monkey Puzzles test server that I just started. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to say the server dedicated server is currently in lobby selection mode. Uh, are you sure you want to join? And you go yes. And we add enter our super strong password here. And then now we can either create something new. Here. So this is actually on the server, even though it looks just like it's always done with the peer-to-peer. -peer. We can start an open world, a mission, or an outpost, or we can load one. We don't have any to load right now, so that won't do us any good. Uh, let's start an open world. We'll start, uh, I don't know, Olympus one, and uh, we'll create a new open world. Pretty sure you can't put any spaces in here. Uh, when I've tried that, it doesn't work. So uh, we'll just do uh, Monkey uh, Olympus Oop. Prime. And you can choose your difficulty. I like hard because the game's really not that hard. And go ahead and claim that. Now here is the jank. When I first press this, um, you can, well... You can choose all the stuff you're going to take over. I'm not going to risk my stuff on this test world, so I'm just not going to bring anything. Uh, you can choose insurance here. I'm not sure if insurance works on the open worlds or not, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and confirm loadout. Now, this is cool. You can choose where in the world you want your spawn point to be. So I'm going to choose it over here in the Riverlands, Conifer 2. And we can drop here. So that's an option we never had before, which is pretty neat. Uh, unless that has, I haven't played in probably about a month or so. So there's things I have missed for sure. Uh, so we're going to claim that prospect. Now we're going to get an error here, unless they fixed it since I was testing it last night. Uh, let's see if I'm right. Because um, what it's doing right now is it is starting that server. Because we just gave it a world. Yep. Now that is a known error. And apparently they're going to be fixing it. Because this is in beta. But what happened is that it just turned that world on. I wasn't able to join because it was still spinning up. But now it should be up for five minutes. And so now I can come and repeat what I all the steps I just did. And go over here... Um, going to go join dedicated servers as soon as it lets me put my cursor in here we'll search for monkey puzzle and this is how you guys are going to join the folks who are playing with me today uh, except it's not going to be this one that's going to be an iron mine one and i'll show you in a minute so we're going to go ahead and join the prospect now it's stuck on hard because i've already selected that i'm going to join the prospect confirm our loadout top secret password Actually, that's the other password. 
Your server is just forever updating. <laughs> and now we should just get in. Um, so you got to do it the second time. So don't be discouraged. When you get the preparing geometry, you know it works. But that's something I had to work out beforehand is that whole thing of like it, it failing the first time. And I'm like, what's going on here? What did I do wrong? But apparently that's just a known error. So the first time you start a world, you're going to fail to join the first time. But you should go ahead and join anyway because that's the clunky way that it starts the server. And hopefully they will fix that. But yeah, this is the server we just bought. This is the world we just created, and we are now loading into it. The usual drop pod thing. Boop. And here we are on Olympus uh, open world by these lovely waterfalls. We're going to go up there and build a thing right now. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm not going to play on this one right now, but I just wanted to demonstrate to you that it did work. Uh, the world is loading in, but I am getting 100 frames a second right now on full ultra settings. I do have a 3090 and a, a AMD Ryzen 5900 CPU, so I got a pretty strong computer. But even with that, I have struggled in Icarus before. I do have, I have ray tracing on, um, and it, the performance is just a lot better. A little bit of stutter, but the world is still loading in. Um, they have optimized a bunch, although they still have a lot more to do, but it's better than ever because normally with the peer to peer and starting the world beyond playing in the world as a client, I would also be the server host. My computer would be doing both things and putting an extra heavy load. And it was always kind of okay when you first loaded in, but when your friends came in, you could feel that hit right away. And then when the buildings went up and the world started getting harvested and everything, it would eventually become unplayable. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to start on a world that we're going to play on ongoing and build a bunch of stuff and all that. And we're going to see how long the performance holds out with this uh, new dedicated server mode. So anyway, let's get my character back up to the station. Apparently, nowadays, you don't have to take your character out of a world in order to um, play in a different one. But I haven't tested that yet, and I have no reason to leave my guy down here. It's my level 50 dude. Uh, but you can see all the rewards we got for doing nothing, which was nothing. <laughs> the reward was that beautiful server. Right on. So yeah, that's it. A couple other things I'm gonna show you real quick here. Let me just, I'm gonna leave the game open because I'm about to play and start our own world. Um, is now that we have started the world, I can go over to configuration and over here now we have a server settings I and I. So this is basically most of the same options that we had over here on the uh, basic settings page, except um, there's a couple other ones that uh, you didn't have over there. Um, so it's the same max players, the passwords, whether you load the prospect immediately or not, um, resume prospect, false, uh, allow non-admins to launch prospects, true, allow non-admins to delete prospects, false. You could put this, this uh, allow non-admins to launch prospects as false, and then you as the admin would always have to come in and start up the world in, in order for other people to be able to play and they'd be able to you you could leave at that point as long as other people stayed on um, but I want people to be able to play even if I'm not playing so I'm gonna leave that as true even though they could just start tons of other worlds which is fine as long as I've asked people to communicate on the discord if they want to do that and make sure other people are cool with that because otherwise if people wanted to come and play the world we'd already been playing they wouldn't be able to <laughs> anyway uh, session name so this one is the main new option you get by going in here is shut down if not joined for 300 seconds. So that's where the five minutes comes from. You could change this. You could change it to 30 seconds. You could change it to 3000 seconds. You can change it to whatever you wanted. So if you made this number really large, uh, the world would never shut down. 
which would have some advantages. Like if you had ore that was processing and you wanted it to keep processing, it would without you having the AFK and B there. But it would also allow the potential of disasters happening, you know, lightning striking your place or bears attacking it or whatever while you're gone. Um, I'm not sure if a player would actually need to be loaded in there for that to happen or not, but that's up to you. So you could effectively turn it into a perpetually on server by adjusting that name. And then it says the name of your last prospect. Um, just a few more things I want to show you because I want to give you guys a complete education here. So we're going to go back to this uh, status page and we're going to, I'm going to show you how to connect with FTP because uh, that gives you a lot of other options too. So uh, I use a program called FileZilla that uh, you can get for free. Uh, and so a lot of people use that. I totally recommend it. I'm just adjusting it here real short, real quick to make sure it's not showing any private info of mine. But uh, right here is what it looks like. That's the little symbol for it. I've got an icon for it underneath the game, but you can't see that. But uh, just FileZilla. It's a reputable free FTP file transfer program. And this is basically allows us to connect to the server uh, file folders directly. Um, so I'm just going to take this info over here so I can copy these things. Or I can just do it like this. So you just take the host name and uh, we're going to go to, I'm just going to open this up real, over here real quick to make sure that uh, everything's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I actually cancel that. All right, so you go over here to the site manager, and that is not the current uh, IP for our Exile server right now, so that's fine. I haven't adjusted this. So we're just gonna put in a new site, and we're gonna paste that host name in there, and uh, not that, but come back here, thank you. Uh, and then we're gonna put the port right in here and then uh, it's got the username like that and oh, where'd it go uh, the password boop. boop boop and then we're going to connect and it asks you this server does not support FTP over TLS it's just saying that it's not super secure but that's fine. I just always always allow insecure plain FTP for the server. And then these are the files of this. You'll recommend FileZilla 2. I've used it to mod a G Portal satisfactory server before. Yeah. So this is the old school way to do it. The web interface tries to uh, give you most of the options you have in here, but you have a few more. So uh I'm not sure. I'm still getting to know the file system for Icarus. I know uh, other games pretty well. All these other ones. These are all my backups. I'd like to do manual backups like this occasionally. But um, over here in Icarus, uh, let me see. I think maybe in content. No. Uh, config. Yeah, over here in saved. Um, we can go to uh, config over here in Windows Server. Here is where that server settings INI is that uh, we just looked at through the other one. So you can go view, edit, and then it opens it up in Notepad. So that same one we looked at through the interface is available here. And then uh, I don't think there's anything in game user settings. Those are That's the other one you usually play with. There's usually a bunch of configs you learn later that you can do in those ones. Um, apparently, player data is over here. Oh, and here is where you can see your prospects. So I went player data, dedicated server, prospects. There is Monkey Olympus Prime. And then also whatever other um, uh, prospects we started would be listed here. And this would be an easy way to delete them if you wanted to or back them up, right? So you could just take this and create a, a folder over here. This is your computer and this is the host computer. 
over here. So we can go over here and create a directory and enter it. So we could say, you know, Icarus backup. And then we could just take folders from over here and put them on your local computer. And so now I've just backed up that uh, world uh, onto my own computer. So even if it crashed there, I could take this and put that there. Now I'm not 100% familiar with the Icarus um, with the uh, the Icarus file system yet, so I'm not sure if I did the complete backup. Um, I'll find out later. But if you wanted to be safe, you can also just do the backup from this. And I'm almost done. The last thing I wanted to show you was I got a couple other links in here um, to help you out. Um, who was it? It was Jacob Greenberger asked if you could just host it on your own computer. Yes. And if you want to do that, I've got a link down here, um, which also will help you with some other things, just working with the, the G portal one of, um, this is the rocket works on GitHub. They have a wiki for how to do the Icarus dedicated server. And, uh, it's got a bunch of useful information here. So this is the home and it's, uh, connecting to servers, console archon commands, uh, prospect names, server config, and launch parameters, and then uh, server setup. So, yeah, this will tell you how to do the whole Steam CMD, Steam command thing, which is how you generally what's used to set up um, games that are on Steam as dedicated servers on your own. I've never done it that way, um, but if you're a real pro, you can. Uh, usually involves a little bit of being able to work in a shell and do command line stuff which is not totally intimidating but you do need to know what you're doing modding isn't yet supported in g portal for satisfactory yeah i'm not surprised um but still useful for your g portal server is uh here there are some commands you can do apparently you can either do these from the in-game chat inside the game or uh, remind me to show you when I go back to the lobby, there's actually a place that you can enter commands from the lobby too. Um, but you can do, uh, admin login is the command for entering the password to give yourself admin privileges. And then you can do things like kick player, ban player, unban player, uh, kick all the players and return them to the server lobby and, uh, return to lobby when empty. So you got those commands. And then uh, also over here, uh, there it tells you what those options on the basic settings page mean about the passwords and the resume pos prospect, true, false. You know, if true, automatically resume the last prospect on startup, true by default, uh, and so on and so forth. So it um, explains what all those means. So that's a resource you can use for this. And for starting your own, if you didn't want to use G portal. Um, and then one other resource here is in this link. Um, it takes you to the Icarus, uh, official, uh, over here, boop, Icarus official discord. And they have a page right here for, um, doing the uh, dedicated server beta. So everybody trying to either set it up on a host or on their own computers are all chatting here and asking other questions and people are giving each other a lot of help. I asked a couple questions here too. So uh, that's another resource that you can have for that. So yeah, um, if you guys have any questions on that, but I think uh, that was 44 minutes. I figured it would take me about 45 minutes of how to start an Icarus dedicated server, which is a brand new thing that you are able to do now so huzzah for that so let's go ahead and start a world now and i'm going to go ahead and play with my friends um this stream is sponsored for another hour and 15 minutes but uh we're just going to go ahead and play like normal so we're going to go ahead select character um and then we're going to go ahead and go through those steps again and we're going to go uh, dedicated servers. 
And as soon as that stops spinning, I'm going to search for Iron Mine. And so here's the Iron Mine Icarus server. This is the one we're actually going to play on. It's got eight slots. And it's in lobby selection mode. So you guys do not get to see this one because it's super secret. <laughs> yeah. Get my cursor back in there. Boop. All right. Should be good. All right. So, so far in here, I've only started up uh, Iron Mine Olympus um, open world to test out on, but I'm going to close that. And here is where you could do some of those um, parameters you wanted to do. So you could do set admin, you can do, what was that other one? Server config and launch parameters. There was, uh, what was the one to kick everybody out? <laughs> Let me see, that was over in, uh, wait, console archon commands, I think. No, it's not that one. Um, Archon commands right here. I'll return to lobby. So if someone was playing and you wanted to kick them out and start a new world and you're an admin, you'd set your, do set admin as a, you know, password right here. Or this one, uh, it's uh, return to lot one one word return to lobby but you'd always have to have set yourself as admin so anyway you got a line for commands there you can do as admin uh, most of the regular players won't not need to do that at all um but we're gonna make a new one here we're gonna make a new open world and we're gonna do sticks because i've never played sticks before return to lobby that's it game gcon gcon is our resident uh, Icarus expert, and I am not exaggerating when I say that. So we're going to create a new open world. I'm going to put it on hard, unless people protest. And then uh, we're going to call this one Iron Mine Sticks. We're going to do one, because chances are we're going to have to go through many of these. This first one is going to be kind of a tester. We're going to play the hell out of it and see how long it lasts. <laughs> So we'll see how long we have to go before we have Iron Mine Sticks 2. But this is going to be uh, open world. So I'm going to go ahead and claim this one. And I'm actually going to take some stuff because uh, we're going to be playing this for real. And I want that. Uh, there are no uh, exotics on the open world, so I won't need that. And I think I'm good. Maybe I'll just bring a, a junk pickaxe and a junk axe. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead. I don't know if you can do insurance on this or not, uh, but I might as well make sure I don't lose this junk. And again, even though there are no rewards, so I won't be losing anything. And uh, let's go ahead and confirm that loadout. And then Gcon, where should we, where should we drop into? Probably not the snowy plateau. Probably not the dry ridge. This one looks pretty central. I would assume the Great River if we're going to explore the rest of the map. Uh, there's the Ring Lake. I have not played on sticks at all. Probably not the ice flats. I've only got two slots in that suit. I know, but uh, sometimes I might want to switch out the uh, inventory module for the speed module. Ice flats, great river. Okay. Yep, right on. So we're going to drop there. And so everyone will drop around there. So it's probably going to fail this first time. And anybody, when you're starting it up from the lobby, it will fail the first time. Now people will have a choice of joining either the Olympus open world or the sticks. Um, so don't be afraid if it fails the first time. Maybe it won't. 
Uh, what's happening? <laughs> Boop. Let's see how it goes. Hey, got in the first time. Amazing. It's not as jank as I thought. Anyway, hopefully that convinces you guys this is all possible and that it mostly kind of works. You are good to drop in. I'm actually going to get into voice now with folks and we're going to play. You know, open up Discord on the other computer. And then maybe I'll uh, put a message over there that we're good to drop in. But yeah, that was a little off the cuff tutorial streaming so it was a little longer than it needs to be maybe at some point i'll try to do a more succinct one if especially if g portal wants to incentivize me to do that just to like a freestanding recorded one it's, it's down to 15 minutes or something like that um but that i think was everything you need to know or everything there is to know at this point work time over now is play time indeed but that's cool. I really have wanted to show people how to do a server for a very long time. And again, there's a lot more nuance to doing a lot of the other uh, longer running game servers. And I'd like to show some of those at some point too. Um, but let me see. Let me jump into voice over here. And then let's just drop a message into Icarus. Um, yeah. Let everyone know you are free to jump on to the server now. Hey, MP, how's it doing? What's up, G-Con? Uh, good, good. How's it going, man? Great video. Yeah, really, you think that, really you think enjoyed that? that. That was really useful. Yeah, do you for, think I uh, covered it? And thank you to G Portal as well for sponsoring. That's yeah, most helpful. What's up, Sir Garwin? Yes, Icarus. We're trying out the new dedicated servers, so we now have an Icarus server. So you will be seeing a lot more Icarus uh, because of that. Okay, uh, let me just get my other stuff in order over here. Oop. We'll get out and do some things. Oop. So, did you see mm -hmm. my message earlier about the oxygen and water? Yeah, I did. You can it now be handy if I uh, with if I'm bottle. jumping around a lot. Uh, the message he said was that um, if you fill your oxygen and water on a world and take it back up to the space station, that it will remain filled. The next time you jump down. Is that basically what you said? Yes, yes. And uh, uh, I've come with full water and oxygen, so... Well, it doesn't look like water is going to be too much of an issue because it's right here. But yeah, I don't have oxygen. Yeah, it means you just you don't have to immediately you know, set up a little mini base and get a, an oxide dissolver. Yeah, and... I do not have that yet. Oh, but there is a wolf immediately. Hi, buddy. So I do have us on hard. Just to make sure we have a challenge. Um, clearly it's not that hard. <laughs> oh, except there's another one. Oh, sneaky. I'm actually kind of close to death. There we go. All right, is there a third? No, we're cool. All right, well, we get some bones and stuff right away. Now, I haven't played for a little bit, probably a month or two, at least. Maybe longer than that. So G-Con knows a lot of stuff that uh, I don't know. Like, I know there's been a lot of stuff happening with there's There's modules for... Um, what did I press? What did I press to change... Person? Oh, C. There we go. Um, I know there's like modules for weapons and modules for suits and new armor sets and 
What else is new? Oh gosh, uh, there's a new radio, there's uh, a water mill, uh, sorry, a water wheel for generating electricity. Mm -hmm. um, we've got new skins for some of the benches. Oh, there's, there's so much that has changed, um, especially recently, they've really been on a, a, a real drive towards the end of their year. Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm not right. going to remember all right now. <laughs> right. I know that, um, yeah, you can set up Maybe. a thing to call in. Hi. Remind me what the hello one was? It was like plus or something? Yeah, it's a plus key. There we go. Hey, Hiya. <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay, I Start gathering. Um, I'm... Do you, how do you want to do this? Do you want to go and have an explore and see where you want to build, or? I think that somewhere just right know? around here, we should just set up some simple base camp, you know. And if we want to for do it more, yeah, for people jumping in. If we want to do it more fancy yeah. later, you know how we usually just do something simple to begin yeah. with to to start yeah. gathering some mats and stuff. A basic um, spawn camp. Yeah, yeah this is a basic spawn camp. I don't know what's the best place within a stone's throw of here to do it. There are... I, I'm going to suggest, actually, we move a little way away from this for two reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, one is incoming dropships, because they'll drop all over this area, and we don't want them dropping on a little mini base. Mm -hmm. um, the other is crocodiles. Crocodiles? Yes. Which are a bit of a pain. Yeah, so the sticks map is actually uh, one of the new things, too. <laughs> it isn't that new, but uh, that I just never bothered with. So it's got some creatures that I haven't encountered yet. I know it's got, like, crocodiles and, what, Komodos? Is that a thing? Yes. And They're, some kind of, some kind of parrot bird, some little hostile bird. Uh, the Kias are not hostile, um... They will get in your face a little bit, and they'll steal your food, uh, but otherwise they're harmless. Okay. Um, Kias? The, Is that what you call them? Yeah. So it's uh, apparently it's a, a bird native to New Zealand, where the developers are from. Uh, oh, baby buffalo cool. mounts. That's another new one. Mounts are new, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Buffaloes and whole, the moa birds. That's a whole thing you can do a couple of episodes on, actually. We'll definitely have to check out some mounts. They didn't seem super practical, honestly, but uh, um, from when I looked... Honest, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't hold a lot, and they don't have a lot of stamina. And it's like, for a mission, they seem like way too much work. But uh, for an open world, we'll definitely have to check them out, because it's content. And I think, if nothing else, they're, they're amusing. Yes. Look, pretty, look pretty funny when people rode them. There's uh, yeah, there's some been some comedy moments with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got a really funny move set. Do you know? Do so. Last time I did the open world uh, was on Olympus, but that was when they were doing the Olympus outposts, and yes. resources respawned oh. on that. Now they change the outpost to open world and resources i think for the most part don't respawn now do you know the details on that do trees respawn at all or is this the last time open, we'll ever see these trees um basically an open world it, it's like the the original prospects that nothing respawns uh, uh, except the, the oxide only sulfur it, and silica right no they do not respawn they do not yeah. So oxide is is finite. Well, there's a lot of it around the map, and to be honest, once you've once you've filled your your O2 tank, you kind of you don't really need to fill it all that often. Okay, but that does eventually put a time limit on the world. I mean, you'll probably lag it out first, but oh, it, it, you would it would take years yeah oh yeah 
there's a lot of oxide. So, can you tell me, can you, can you come here a second? Yeah. Um, do you see a tree floating above my head? Where are you? Uh, over here, behind you. Over here. Oh, there you are. I can. You see a tree up? Okay. Yeah. So, a couple of bugs still to fix with this map. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a feature, man. Not a bug. I, I did see in uh, the patch log. Oh, there's a Kia. Yes, that's a Kia. Look at that. And it looks a little like a parrot. Multicolored. Pretty pretty. Yeah. But they steal your food, so um, don't leave like campfires or um, the drawing racks outside because they'll come and steal from you. Do they steal it off your hot bar? No, no, no. They won't steal it off your person, but if you leave any food lying around outside, they will. They will come. That's cool. I like those. Them. Those are a nice addition. They are, yeah. They are quite cool. Sir Garwin is setting up the snack table with all kinds of goodies. Oh my god. We are rich. Alright, I'm gonna use my drop pod to stick all this wood on for the moment. So I'm overloaded. Um go, I can oh no, I can't access your book. <laughs> Stop it, Pookie. <laughs> no brown mulch for monkey. <laughs> That's an inside joke. It's a con. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the very much. Oh, we've been playing a lot of a lot of Conan, and uh, oh, okay, so that's the thing. And Conan's been doing this battle pass, which we're kind of like eh about, but you know, it's been all right. But um, this they just did the second battle pass, and the some of the rewards were a little lackluster uh, compared to the first one. And uh, you have to get to like 60 tiers of it. On the third tier, you get brown mulch. <laughs> I was just reviewing the battle pass and I saw brown mulch and I was just cracking up because I just thought that was the kind of lamest reward ever. <laughs> Not that mulch is a bad thing. But <laughs> Are you going to give us brown mulch in the battle pass? What? So, could I suggest maybe putting a little bone base like over here um, out there-ish uh, as soon as I figure out where here is but uh, uh, yeah wherever you want I see you That's, are uh, you doing it on the map yeah sure man you are the resident expert so I'll, I'll trust you it's just a it's, this is a little bit of a croc island uh -huh. mm -hmm. Zach but Valentine no. you finally got your server up and set up thanks to you. Right on. I'm glad it was helpful. Yeah. So definitely folks who want to set up their own. I encourage you to use the link down in my description. It'll save you some money. And it also helps me out. So that's a great. If it was helpful at all, that's a great payback. Um, are you up on this little rock plateau? or? Yes. Yeah, so there's, there's a nice flat spot. I mean, you should be able to get up there. I think there's a spot that's uh, comfortably. Gonna have to make some stairs. Can I do it? No. No. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to skyrim it. It's not working. Crazy mom. What's up? It's we haven't uh, figured out exactly what we're doing. I'm trying not to be too structured on this one. I don't want to be too controlling and micromanaging, but also this is sort of a test server. We want to see how quick we break it. <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't try to break it, but uh, uh, this may or may not be our long-term one. So uh, we're going to set up a little base together. And then, and then people could be kind of free to do what they want, I think. You should try not to be too crazy. Because uh, we know that the performance is going to get hit if we do too much. We just already know that. Um, but I'm not opposed to people branching out and making their own bases once we set up like a group base here. 
Um, also, it only holds eight people at a time, but uh, those eight people can swap out, so it doesn't have to be the same eight people. Uh, I think Gcon was saying other people do actually have to physically leave for other people to join. But uh, is that is that the case? They the last the latest update, like when they uh, not the dedicated service release because that's on the experimental branch, but the um, the last major game update, there was in the patch notes uh, a note to say that you now don't have to leave in order to have like so if someone just like logs out, mm -hmm. um, disconnects from the game someone else can come and take their spot but to be honest I haven't tested that and I know uh, when we tried it a couple of weeks ago uh, on, on a dedicated on a, uh, a prospect we all had to take off you know in our ships first but after that it worked fine so in theory you don't have to take off but that um, that was only just released this week. Okay. Uh, I haven't tested it. You think that Brown Mulch was trying to tell me something? Yeah, that the, the battle pass kind of sucks. <laughs> Baby deer. Oh, I've just remembered something. Um, this is all wrong, G-Con. Gonna have to change this. It is all wrong. I just remembered you do not like square bases, so let's not make it square. <laughs> <laughs> there's still there's still time to uh, change that. Should we do the uh, thing you did the diagram of, or is that too complicated? We can do that, but it's um, well, you, it would be a lot easier with um, either uh, stone or concrete. So oh, because the, the marks on it? Uh, yeah, and also because uh, there's no wooden frame. Uh, so oh, right. you kind of need everything at the same level. And if the ground is not perfectly flat, then I, I don't know. It might not work with wood. Mm -hmm. Do you want to we give it a try? It might work. Let's put a few more. I guess if you put this here, we can do... A stone one over here later. I like the view over here. But this would be a little bit more challenging. Well, let me, uh, let's, let's try and test. Let's see if we can get this to... Um, so it was a five by five? And, uh... Oh, you, you know what? I've I don't think... No, it, it's not really going to work. Because you, you need a frame to do it. Uh, you need the depth of the frame so that... Right, it can't do it with the pillars. Need, yeah, they... That's fine. Let's just make that one simple, but... Uh, probably the way I do to get out of a square is I just... Uh, make kind of a... Yeah. Uh, it extends some more pieces out in the middle of each side. And then I gotta remember how to build in this game. We need the building hammer, right? You've been in, uh, you've been in Conan too long. I've been in Conan, I've been away too long. <laughs> Old man, my muscle memory, uh, only handles one game at a time. Yeah, so we're gonna have a lot more folks jumping in here, folks. I'm leaving the uh, sponsored by G Portal thing up for the next hour, but then I get to take it down. All right, uh, let me see. How do you play this game? A crafting.
Right, oh, I got the pre-craft pieces. That was the thing. There we go. Let's make uh, some crates real quick. That's going to be an issue. You don't think you've deleted the game in favor of another one that you're playing? Hopefully you have enough room to have more than one game loaded on your computer. I can go ahead and make a crafting bench, if you haven't already. Uh, I don't get that. And uh, make a couple sleeping bags, so I can make one sleeping bag. Uh, do... Oh, I cannot. Okay. Oh my god, there's a house in front of me. Right, well, it's not square. <laughs> it's not square. And then, oh, it has a door over here. It says, yeah, it would be cool to do a round one. So, yeah. I have a feeling we're going to need to be uh, at least one diameter bigger. This is a start. Let's throw these down. Man, I am no longer used to these games where you have to uh, pre-craft your pieces. I think that's all the pillars. Oh, I get to swing over it again, folks. Oh. Got a wolfie hey, out wolfie. there. So, I think another thing that changed is, um... Did you kill it already? Yeah, there's another one. So oh. I'm just going... Hi, buddy. Do you want to be part of our building? Is You can't do the headshots anymore, right? It's, and oh, you the, can. The, the kill cam? Does that still exist? Yeah, that's still a thing. Okay. Uh, but I heard I you have to like aim for their weak spots in a different way or something like that. They yeah they changed uh, how critical hits work. Um, so there are now um, different parts of the body. Uh, and you'll get like a different icon depending on. Hello. It's like their head and oh, their heart. Oh. What happened? Me. Someone, something attacking you? Me. Oh. Who did? Oh, Komodo? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Surprised he attacked me. Normally they're, um, they're fine. You can just... That's new to me. Oh. Crackers are so happy with, with being able to set it on fire once again. <laughs> Crackers has been a working lady, man. We haven't seen much of her. She got a new job and just works all the time. I just see her on our Wordle Wordle page. She managed to do a Wordle a day, but she hasn't been able to jump into one of these games with us for a while. Sadly. What's the direct key for going to crafting? Is it the uh, O? It's O. Yeah. And... You turn ramps to stairs, right? Is that the thing? Uh, press R. Yes. For variations. That's right. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, you beat me to it. I just made some. All right, I'll make the door. Oh, too late. <laughs> okay. Do you want to make the windows? <laughs> I'm not attached. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Blue crafting bridge. I made one of those. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh, let's put it right here. All games you haven't played in a month, delete. And when I want to play it again, I'll install it. But right now, I'm not interested in it, Chris. Hey, I'm not trying to convince you. I wasn't planning on playing Icarus either, but the whole dedicated server thing uh, got me inspired. Uh, and it definitely, even if I'm not on here all the time myself, I wanted to make it available for people because I knew that um, there's definitely folks in Iron Mine who would be happy to have an ongoing Icarus server. So now we do. Okay. And it was also just a good opportunity for me to give a um, 
tutorial. Can we do one thing though, Jikon? Can we put a second story on, or at least do a pitch roof? Yeah, this is this was just temporary to get the um, crafting bench to work. Oh, it, okay, it, okay. It needs shelter. Yeah, gotcha. I just get claustrophobic in one high. Sure. Ones and it messes with your camera. Uh, let me see. Was it the wood wall angled? I think so. Do that. Oh, let's go too high. First, let's make a bunch of these. How many can I make? Oop, not many. Yeah, I've got four, five, five gaming SSDs. Four gaming SSDs. So, I don't have wow. to delete delete things every month. <laughs> yeah, I go a bit nuts, but I get to pretend it's my job, even though I don't do not even cover the cost of the gaming itself. Yes, in there. Middle, everybody can walk on my bed. We're gonna need all our wall space. I'm just doing those to keep the keys off the uh, uh They're all over the place, aren't they? I like them. They add life to the map, even if they're annoying. Hola. Hey. Hello. Hi, Lai. Did you see how to jump in? I read something. Okay. I gave a whole demonstration on it, too. I was taking a shower. Oh, yeah. We don't want you coming in here all dirty and stinky. No. It's I'll close quarters. Many predators and stuff. It's oh. close quarters in this cabin, too, so. <laughs> Oh, it's not close quarters until you do uh, an A-frame, like uh, three, three by one. There, or you have to all in crawl into a hole in the rock together in a storm. Yep, done that too. I'm gonna go get a bunch of wood I already chopped down, Jikon. I'm just gonna put this stuff in this first chest uh, willy-nilly. Cool, let me know if you uh, need help getting in. Yep, I'm just loading. Gonna take like ten minutes. <laughs> Hopefully Sh not. It shouldn't be that bad. I'm so sort of randomly putting things down. So uh, feel free to. Yeah, this is the random base. And again, I'm not gonna be too attached this time. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna put the rest of the roof on because we do have showers and they'll mess up the benches. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. We'll make it pretty in a minute. Yeah, that's what I'm getting the rest of this wood for. But yeah, maybe we'll get her back in here now that we have uh, Icarus up again. Leave me alone! Bad dog. Too early for first death. Oh, he got me close. God. One more of those and I am dead. Is it ever too early for first death? Uh, I guess not. I mean, let me go see if I can uh, get under you and you land. <laughs> you can you can have the honor. I tried to do this relatively early for all you Europeans, so it wouldn't oh, be yeah, too late, yeah. but um, it's still kind of late it. for you guys. Well, it is now. <laughs> it's better than... When uh, you thought it was 9 in the evening, and now it's around... Uh, it's 10.20. So. Well, it's still better than our usual. I've... Uh, it's better than 3 o'clock at night, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Had you playing with me at 3 o'clock in your morning, for sure. <laughs> yep. It's pretty nice when you can't sleep, though. Yeah, I tried to sleep eight hours last night, and I think I got three. Mm. 
The tutorial would have been even better if I'd managed to sleep, but... Ooh! It is what new it is. New screen! Yeah, they got a new splash Very screen. Very nice. Oh, that's not gonna work. I didn't get the intro screen, which I'm a bit annoyed about. Because I like the intro. The movie? Yeah. I uh, data immigration for this account has been performed yet. Okay. It's gonna give nice you data. all your data back. Ooh. Which is it's kinda weird. I mean, I see kinda what they're doing, but they're also like it's a little worrisome because uh, by giving everybody their data and not running servers themselves anymore makes me a little worried about the future of the game because they're like Dissolving their responsibility for hosting, which I'm sure is very cost cutting for them. But. But you can still be able to play the old way, can't you? You can, but it's different. Now, instead of the data being on their servers, like before it was peer to peer and one of the players was hosting for everybody else for sure, but um, the actual data was stored on the Icarus servers. Mm. Uh, now the data is stored on the uh, person who hosts. So you can't uh. play the game without them playing unless they send you the file. Uh. And so that's a lot more limiting. Because it used to be you could play whatever, right? Whenever. Even if the person who started it wasn't there, uh, you could start it yourself, and then you'd be the host. But now you can't do that you unless could? you actually physically transfer the f the file. Yeah. Anybody oh. could play it at any time before. But which you was still then, like if if say I'm um, I have a private game with you, mm -hmm. and I do a private game with somebody else, can I still go back to your game? Or do you leave it permanently like you did Well, before? if I started it, you have to wait for me to start it again or send you the, fi the save file. So basically, you could be have like five ongoing missions going at the same time. Yeah, you can do that now, apparently. Uh, is there still the But limits? whoever starts the mission has to host the file. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. These Komodos don't die easy. Uh, oh, watch out, they, they can poison you. I am poisoned for a long time now. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's like Oh, a Mo is attacking me. What? Alright, we're gonna get first death. It says there's still yes. peer to peer servers. Help, G Con. <laughs> it is, but they work differently, like I just described. Okay. Um. um. So. Yeah, and then the, the other downside of that is because, well, some people might see this on the upside, but now that you have your player data on your own computer, you can cheat and change things now. Mm. Well, people always do that. Like, well, they couldn't before, because... Uh, oh, they could. Good they heaven. most definitely could. But there, I mean, there might have been exploits and stuff they could have done, but the, the data was... Your player data was stored on the um, Icarus servers, and if, uh, like, if they lost your file, you didn't have a copy of it. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm um, dead again. <laughs> how do I join? Uh, so where it says peer to peer on top, to the right of that is says dedicated servers. Click, yes. Click dedicated servers. Oh, okay, okay. And then in the upper left, after that page loads with some servers, uh, it says search. Search yes. for Iron Mine. Um, might help if I actually spell it right. Um, that does help. There. And you should see uh, the Iron Mine um, Icarus server. Yes. And then click on that. Yes. And Let, now I need to put in my crap. Yeah, uh, then you put in the, the password. Oh, very, I'm not there yet. Very difficult password. Oops. 
think I want that one. Nice. No, I want, I want that one. Thank you. Mm, yeah, why not? Mm. Bacon. I gotta cook some food so I can heal. Oh, is that the geyser up there? There we go with the password. Okay. Password, password. <laughs> did it make you... Did it send you to the lobby or is it sending um, you directly in? What do you mean? Uh, did, are you just joining the world directly or did you have to choose the world? Um... Oh, invalid password. Reject a connection from host. You gotta spell that okay. one right, too. I copied it over, so I hope it's right. Oh, let me see if I did it right. If I didn't, uh, then that would be one. my bad. Mm. Yeah. No, that's right. You might have copied a space or something with it, or didn't yeah. grab the whole thing. Aha, I could just say friends and then uh, <laughs> join. You're and still I gonna, have to put everything still, in again. Still gonna need a password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's easier to find because oh, you yeah. just say friend. Because we're friends. We are. Uh, let's try that uh, again. And I know what I did wrong. I I took the SIPTA password. Oh, yep. <laughs> that would be why. That would do it. Yep. Okay. Confirm load app. Password. Confirm. Loading. Okay. Should I not be actually Ooh, cooking the meat? Is it better to try it? The, the prime meat I, I tend to dry because it lasts a lot longer. Um, and it's a different buff from the, the prime meat. Mm hmm. Or if I remember right, it's like better to do some of each so you can get different buffs. Uh, so there's antibiotic tonic there if you if you got bit by the uh, auto. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it might be a little bit over um, hyper, so if it gets too much, just tell me to tone it down a little bit. Why are you hyper? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I just <laughs> am. That's fine. Maybe a That's... little bit overtired and shower and sugar and, you know. Hey, it's better than coffee. being depressed. Sure. I just had coffee, but that's actually just keeping me normal. Yeah, no, I, I don't do coffee well. I get even more hyper with coffee. Uh, I wish it still made me hyper. Just going <laughs> AFK for a moment. Fun. Okay. Yep. I'm loading... Geometry. Hey, Bum. What's up, man? Yeah, it does help to copy the right password. It's a little picky about that. So picky. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? it it's a password. <laughs> no. uh. Hey, that sounds like su success. I hear you coming in. There's still no music on the uh, on the uh, iPod. I'm very annoyed about that. Oh, just oh, sing, stream. sing "Free Falling" in your head. <laughs> like it's playing. So why right. is there no music? Good question. Zero out of ten. Return the game. Yeah. Uh, what do I need for uh, these standing still owes torches? Me Twelve dollars. Right. Don't forget. Okay, need to get my stuff. 
Will you take? Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Everything is super stable. I did not get any lag when uh, either Gcon or Lai joined, so that is a good remember. Jay, don't be giving out the password. My God. My mods giving out the password on stream? Terrible. That was a new one. What? What's a new one? Who, who, oh, nope, that's still Bird. Um, oh, yeah, have you played on the Sticks map before? No. Have you played much Icarus before? Oh, no. Uh, you're behind me somewhere. <laughs> you shall be punished, Jay. Um, I'm, I'm getting out my knife, <laughs> just in case. Oh, yeah. There's something down there. You'll need it when I attack you. Wolf. See, that might be no, too close. No, it's not a wolf. No. Yeah, so far it seems to have really stabilized performance, and that is the whole goal. Yeah. Right? The graphics is doesn't suck, which is amazing. When it just came out, um, I couldn't, it was very, uh, what's it called, very grainy and like noisy and stuff, so it, it, it gave me a headache within an hour mm -hmm. if I played with the graphics like that. Yeah, they're definitely more optimized now. Komodo? Oops. Yeah, there's a bunch Ooh. of weirdness on here. Komodos and... Hi, can I tame you guys? Those birds, no? I already forgot their name. And uh, moas. And there's Kias, there we go. And baby buffaloes. Deer! Ow! Okay. Never mind. Sorry. The deer have been um, a thing. I got run down by a large deer. Weird. You don't know you don't play this game? <laughs> but you watch it! Yeah, Traveling Man asked if I could change the length of the night. I wish I could. Most server games allow you to do that stuff. But not here. They still make you play how they want you to play. Even if it's Ooh. your server. Showers. It's gonna blow up my torch. But this is beautiful. My god, look at, look at that. Planet up there. Yeah. And that sparkly, starry, starry night. Am I... My graphics are actually great. It's, it's amazing. I'm so happy. Hi! Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the graphics are pretty decent. Hey, Nicola! What is up? How how do you do that? How do I do what? Uh, the plus key on your numeric keypad. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Wolfie. Oh. I just remembered I could Ooh, wrong person. make a torch and put it in my pocket. Let you... Him. I'm just gonna grab some more Thank you. stuff. Where is my my torch pocket? Oh, I'm getting wet. I don't like it. Where's the torch go, Chico? Uh, there's an L, L. right next to your on your hot. Oh, bar. there it is. Didn't Ooh. I just make one? Oh, here it is. Um, it yeah. may have automatically gone into your hot bar if there's an empty slot. There we go. Look at that. And uh, that doesn't burn me at all. <laughs> nope. Which is great. It's fine, look at that. I'm on fire. It's life safe. <laughs> Where do we want to meet? Right here. On the drying thing or? Oh, uh, you could either put in the drying thing or in the uh, in the in the fireplace here. I need to remember the, the thing Thank you, doing. Nicola. You're always so nice. Yeah. I'm uh, good. I'm good. I had a little teachy part in the beginning. Spent the first 45 minutes telling people how to start a server. Uh, uh, G Portal sponsored me to do that, which is very cool. That's a very symbiotic relationship. You lured with the last game with your 
with my hair decision on your fighter girl. <laughs> you like? Did you like the hair we stuck with? The crazy hair with the shaved part. Oh, lurked. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was a very different game than this. I like switching it up. But most people in the streams, they expect me to play games just like this, and I like to defy their expectations sometimes. Should we sleep? Should, oh, yeah. I forgot about that option. Let's do it. Oh, I never set my spawn point either. Sleeping. The danger of this is, though, I might not get back up. I think I'll just sleep in, guys. Guys, go ahead and do the rest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can just walk all over you. That hair was perfect. Hey! Already walking all over me. <laughs> can't, get no can't get no respect, I'll tell you. Yeah, as far as you mean to go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do it. Is there any special resources that needs to be focused on, or...? Not really. I mean, I think... Do we... We need to still get an oxygen thing going? Maybe? No, it's done. Oh, it's done? Yeah. Where'd you go, man? Let me go right the door. I, I told um, you I'm just sleeping in, because uh, you don't need me. I'm just about to... Um, I just... I always want to get to um, the uh, concrete furnace as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. to get the platinum tools before pickaxes wear out. It's just my habit. Um, yeah, so yeah. I'm about to go and start mining some metals. Okay. Because I figured yeah. if we get to the stone frames, then uh, we can just make the building piece and put all the building pieces in your hands. So G-Con uh, is quartermaster, Lai, so ask him what you need to get. Uh, do you I want to come with me and we'll go and um, mine this? oxygen thingy. Yeah. Oh, you need oxygen? Yeah, uh, do you need a, do you need yeah. a tank? A... Yes, please. Uh, you can make one over here in the crafting bench. Let's see. Oops. Here, I'll make a, I'll make a few and we'll throw them in there. Thank you. And I do not have a scythe. Or sickle, or whatever they're called. Make a board yeah, or a one. Do they sell those in the workshop yet? The sickles? Oh, yeah. yeah. They didn't for the longest time. You used to, before this update, you used to be able to drop down and leave a bunch of tools and they would kind of duplicate. Mm hmm. Um, Can't do that anymore? They, yeah, I think they, they kind of fixed that. It, it was a bug, and they fixed it. It was a feature. It. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a feature a lot of us used. But it meant you should bring down, like, duplicate, you know, tools for other people to use. I was, was wondering really if handy. I could do that. Um, but, you know, that, that's been nerfed. <laughs> I wonder if you can go to an old world of yours where you stockpiled them and bring some back. I haven't tested that yet. Um... Oh. That's something I want to do. Because uh, I got a bunch on my Olympus outpost. Bone sickle. I need some wood. Orbital exchange interface. Yeah, that's that is, is that how you that's how you send your exotics up to space now, which yeah. is convenient, but uh they've been messing some people up with that because I think you can only do it that way now. And people didn't realize it wasn't optional, so they would like farm a bunch of exotics, take it up in their dropship and not get them. Oh. Oh, oh that that's a big oversight. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. That. that I, sucks. I saw a lot of people complaining about that. I get that. Ooh, animal bed. Yeah, I mean the fact that you don't basic writing. Uh, you don't have to run all the way back to your pod. No, is that's great. That's a big improvement. Uh, but oh god, if they if people didn't know and didn't get their exotics because mm. they did it the old way, that that is really bad. They should have made sure. Yeah, that's that is. Bad. 
Yeah. A blunder. It should have been some kind of uh, warning or something. Yeah, you're just looking at all the like new you're stuff. You're leaving with uh, this in your thing. Oh, binoculars! <gasps> Apparently I've got 27 Wee. points available. Smoke I have not grenade. learned everything yet. But yeah, that's what she was talking about. Short range radio. I'm gonna make I'm gonna learn that. That's you can do missions in the open world with that now. Mm -hmm. But G Con cor correct me, but my understanding is that you don't get uh, the rocket bucks from those missions, you just get goodies. Is that right? Yeah, you just get um you get to choose uh, between three different things that are kind of themed around sort of uh, building, cooking, or sort of hunting, uh, and the, it, it's random. So um, you'll you'll be presented with three different rewards once you've finished the mission, and sometimes you get some really good stuff, uh, but other times it's just like you know things like leather and stone. <laughs> it's just like really quite useless. Right. Um, it, it is what it is. Um, so it, it's a little bit of a little bit of a casino. So looky here, we got uh, this is the animal stuff, I guess. There's a food trough. I'm gonna learn that, mm -hmm. and a water trough, and a basic riding saddle, and an animal bed. Animal bed. Fishing rod is still coming soon. <laughs> Um, and then this was new just this last patch, right? The Woodgate Fortifications? Yes, that was in the, I think it was the fifth week, 51 or 52? Last week? I can't remember which. Woodwall Fortification, um, Wood Walkway Fortification, Wood Spikes They are great. They are really good. A nice addition to the game. So you can build... Essentially, you can build a stockade around your base of, um, uh, like, the, the hedgehog. There's, like, mm -hmm. a version of the hedgehogs that mount on them, so, mm -hmm. so that they'll do damage to animals. And it's uh, it's really good for just, if you've got a low-level base, just protecting it from, you know, bears and uh, jaguars and other predators incoming. So, so this that's a, that's a great addition. This repair bench. Do you have to use that to use the repair kits on your uh yes. workshop for items? Re for repairing workshop items, uh you need the uh repair the new you, repair bench. You can't do it in your inventory? Or in the workbench? No. Okay. They've done so good at moving along, keeping the game up. Yeah, they they definitely succeeded in having an update every week for 52 weeks so far, which is pretty amazing. I haven't agreed with the direction of all the updates, but they still had one. So, and yeah. they're not here to please me. <laughs> I would have. I, I, I definitely seem to be listening to people. They are listening to people. I would have coached them to go in a, some different directions. To really keep the the people playing, but uh, like I would have done less of this uh, alteration bench stuff and and you know less of that kind of stuff and more about moving the biomes along. You know, like one of the big hooks of this game, I thought, was that you were on an alien planet, and yeah, the first part of it was terraformed and looks a lot like Earth. But there are parts that are going to get weirder and more alien, and I kind of wanted to think that this was mm. just sort of the um, the precursor to that. And uh, but they instead they gave us another map with yet another forest, and uh, you know, and more tweaky stuff on the tools and the armors and stuff like that. Which most of the people are just doing the missions with a bone knife, you know. <laughs> you didn't really need all that. <laughs> um, and uh i would yeah i would have kind of moved along with the adventure honestly but they, i think that they're saving that stuff for the dlc and um the i think one of the reasons they've done it this that way is because 
I think a lot of the stuff in the DLC, they really re needed to get a lot of the the game engine updates and mm -hmm. the bug fixes done. Yeah, sure. um, get sure. as well as getting the game of the, first. Yeah, the, the, they also had to get the game direction right, and you know that's that's one of the things where they've had a lot of feedback and players who wanted to play a different type of game. You know, some people want to build, some people just want to make it pure survival. Uh, a lot of people wanted PvP, which initially Dean Hall said, absolutely no, this is going to be PvE only. I agree with that. But they have now kind of... They have now kind of... It's not sort of explicitly there, but it's sort of allowed. Uh, that's one of the things they've wrote back. Well, you can always attack other players... Sure, but you can also see them on the map. <laughs> so it's like yeah. that wouldn't yeah. last very long. Well, the the server thing does lend to there being more like PvP options. It does, yeah. Options. Yeah, sure. So, Especially once they give you more configuration options. I hope they give those soon. Um. But the only thing I really, really want them to add is the ability to turn off forest fires. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because, one, because of the lag they cause, but it's also super annoying, especially if, you've, if you're in open world or you're in an outpost and, you know, you're building a lovely, um, you know, nice base in, in a picturesque forest mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the lightning comes burns the forest down and suddenly your nice picturesque base is just in the middle of like an apocalyptic wasteland yeah it's awful besides <laughs> the frame rate while it's happening i don't know if that's exactly. fixed at, at all but the um keep the lightning strikes just have an option to i just wish the they at fire. least had the trees respawn because even without the forest fire, it just becomes a wasteland around your base just by people yeah. harvesting. I mean, it's one of the reasons I don't want to care too much about this world because otherwise I'd be like, don't cut the trees down, guys. You know, go further afield to get wood. Um, yeah, exactly. But it's it's really not going to make a difference because if you don't harvest it, it's going to burn down anyway. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> And it's always where you are, right? The forest fires are localized to your location. Yes, yes exactly. So uh, wherever you build, that's where the forest lightning is going to strike. And stuff. Yeah, or if you're running through the woods, those woods are going to be the one to catch on fire. Yeah, so... It's not bad in this map, to be honest. Uh, I mean, like this area, there is this ground clutter everywhere. So yeah, if, if there was a fire here, it would just wipe everything out. Most of sticks, though... You don't have the um, the ferns on the ground, which means the fires mm -hmm. are less damaging depending on where you build. Um, but yeah, it, it's still annoying because you even if it's if it's not at your base and it strikes, you know, just you know on the hill opposite or something, the frame rate tanks, and, and yeah, you you've lost access to any resources that were on the ground, whether it's yeah. trees, ferns, so or trees. I guess. Pick up space to build that will look good once the trees are gone. <laughs> um, if, it would be great if they added an option to replant. Could work, trees. Like. Yeah, they should at least let you plant seeds, right? Yeah. So you could reforest. And there, everything's genetically engineered. So why couldn't they uh, grow really fast? Right. Right. Exactly. Just let it respawn. I mean, or just let it respawn. Yeah, like. Or it be the thing where like if if you leave the, if, you, if you leave it, the stump, it comes back. But if you don't want a tree there, take the stump, or something like that. Actually, actually, I think if you take the stump, it does go back. At least it was that way at some point. I think it was the opposite, but I'm not sure. So Garwin says, yet? "Don't forget about your hunter's rifle and pistol. We're not there yet." We'll get there. That's tier four, which will the Chicon. That will be about another hour from now, but uh, not yet. <laughs> well, maybe not far off it actually. Yeah, he has been playing this game um, consistently. I, 
I spied in, in Steam and you played uh, like 57 hours last week. So he's still yeah, much, so much more in practice than uh, I am. I'm just... Uh, it hasn't gone that long, but I feel like I'm relearning it a little bit right now. Oh, yeah. Well, it's always like that when they do changes to games. Well, not just that, but just, you know, I've played like five or six games since. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Remember the right buttons. And yeah, exactly. What you can I do pretty do. good for an old guy, but uh, not like my son. He can just jump on any game and remember exactly what to do. No problem. But yeah, we'll get well, there. Right now, I, I'm relying on my bow, Sir Garwin. So happy they added fences and gates. Do you play this game a lot, Nicola? Yeah, I was just looking at the, the, the skills, the talent tree. I spent some, but I've got like only 16 points left and there's more than 16 things to learn. <laughs> and so I was holding off trying to figure out what that is. I definitely want the steel kitchen. Uh, there's a new steel kitchen now. Or, well, there's a marble marble kitchen. I guess it's tier 4. So that's yeah, the that's, it requires composites. So, right. we're definitely going to have the best kitchen, but then there's also a, a water wheel, which is pretty important. Oh, yeah. um, well, you want that. That's really yeah. good. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and learn that. Great. Then there's the advanced alteration bench. Meh. Yeah. No? <laughs> meh? Okay, if G if Gcon says meh, then it's meh. No. I um, use the I use the basic one quite a lot. Um there's, there's only really one attachment that I use and it's the melee attachment because it makes um, mining stuff with the pickaxe far faster. No oh, yeah. The rest of the stuff is, I suppose, would be useful if you were building. So that's the regular that. alteration bench and what, the tool attachment pack? Yes. Do you use the armor or the range at all? Um, I personally do not. Um, other folks, like uh, the, the some of the, the firearms modifications, apparently they're quite good. I don't tend to use rifles now because I got to a point with the, the bow that and just knowing how how the animals mm -hmm. behave I don't really need rifles and then now, so. advanced tactile bench looks like we need that to make the buffalo pack harness yes. and then and then there's these new armors are any of those any good? The Wayfarer or the Cured? Um, the oh, the Wayfarer is pretty good. Um, it looks awesome, actually. Uh, it looks like something out of Star Wars. Oh. Something you do on Tatooine. Um, again, I don't... Because if once you've got the Workshop Armors, most people tend to stick with them. Um, but there's some nice bonuses on the, the, the in-game crafted ones. I don't have any Workshop yeah. Armors yet. Because, uh, of course, you can... Uh, and this is really why they added the attachments. It, it means you can customize your, your armor for your uh, your location and your you know, personal preferences, what, whatever um, stuff you like to do, whether it's building or mining or hunting. Uh, so that, that is really nice. Rather than having one-size-fits-all armor, you can now sort of customize it. I'm gonna learn the advanced tactiles bench. I'm gonna learn the buffalo thing because I gotta do that. I'll learn the wayfarer, and that leaves me six points available. So I'll leave those for when I find what I've missed that I really have to have. And then we'll keep leveling. I'm pretty close to the next level. That'll give me some more points. Well, we'll keep hitting level fifty again. <laughs> um, no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I thought I found something, but I didn't. Oh, okay. All right. Let me see. Let me work I on the roof this thing. We're just about to hit the two-hour mark, so we're gonna hit the end of the sponsored portion of the stream and back on to as usual. Um. But yeah, I really appreciate G Portal offering that. 
That was really cool, and it was fun to have the opportunity to teach you guys. Uh, folks who didn't know how to do the dedicated server, it seems like a really good time because they've only existed for two days. So <laughs> it's probably a good time to get that information out. Um, but yeah, next time I'll have to do it in a shorter video because uh, on stream, everybody's going to be like, you know, why'd you take so long to tell the whole thing? Blah, blah, blah. But, uh, it took what it took. Really well. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's what it takes. No, I, yeah. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Can you, it's really um, good information there. Can you, you put in the timestamps on the stream afterwards? Yeah, I'll do that. Definitely. That might be a good idea. I used to watch, used to, but I watch to keep up because so much has uh, been added, I'll be lost. Yeah, I kind of, I keep, I see the notifications in their Discord each week and I read the patch notes. Uh, it doesn't mean I remember it all, but I do uh, keep it up. Nice footprint for the hut. Yeah, it's a little small. I'm about to, uh, I keep getting distracted talking and stuff, but the, um, I'm about to put a second level on it. Oh, um. Norny. Will you just stand still so I can hit you? <laughs> What's its incentive for that? Okay, what was that? <laughs> what you I'm trying to kill it here, okay? She's and not talking to me, moving. thankfully, but uh, I'll be next. <laughs> as soon as I say something wrong, she'll be like, stand still so I can hit you. Here, yeah. stand still. Yeah, okay, so what do we need to make here? We I need to make... Go. And then we maybe we'll come out a level here. Let's see. Go a little higher. Oh my! How do you thought go that was gonna get more again? vertical. We're gonna do something better out of stone over there. How do you what? Go third person. C. It does feel ah. crazy. It's not nearly big okay, enough. There's a there's the a wounded deer coming up your way. Station. I'll save it. Get away from lie. Run. I'll distract her. I don't see her. All right, let's see. Let's make. How many do we need? Uh, one, two, three, four. Start with eight, maybe. Of these. Next sixteen. Oh, oh. Ah, fine. Can't wait to see me with a baby buffalo. <laughs> Riding them, you go. Boom, 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 boom. You can have buffaloes. Yeah, and they walk in a very roly-poly oh. kind of way. We'll get to those in this stream. We'll build a. We'll build a lot of sta stable and. Uh, yeah. You think, you think we'll get to that? Um, yeah, well... I'll make sure we get to that. <laughs> How do you um, rotate, rotate this R? Boop. This should okay. probably all taking damage in the rain, huh? Pair hammer. We should all have one of those. We're bound to catch fire. We probably need the whacker too. I need some stone. We should probably be making a masonry bench already. Uh, is my my hammer so I can fix things and my thwacker without the fire. Aw, oh, thank you, Nicola. It says you always build the most interesting, beautiful bases. So skilled Woo! with your creativity. Oh. 
Thank you. Jaguar. Jaguar? I think we had oh, those Okay, before. never mind. It's dead. Good job. I'm hurt. Yeah, this actually is not getting hurt in the regular rain. I thought it did. So far, so good. Okay. Alright, and then we need one, two, three... 12, 16 walls. Let's see how many I can make. All right, well, we are officially at the end of the two hour mark. So I'm gonna switch that off. Uh, yeah, and that was the end of my very, very first sponsored stream. Again, thank you, G Portal. Hope that was helpful for you guys learning how to do the servers. I'm still here, of course, for your questions and stuff about that. But, um, yeah. Thanks, G Portal. Thank you very much, and thank you for hosting this server. They're hosting this now and our two uh, Conan servers and whatever other servers we decide to spin up. So that's a pretty cool deal. See, this is, this is lovely. It is buttery smooth. Yeah. Now I'm getting yeah, yeah, just had all the lagging. 50 FPS, which is too... Oh, it's beautiful. Well, it's, it's here for you, G-Con. I plan to keep it up in for the long term, uh, whether we're doing this map or others. And we'll have the uh, ability to spin up other maps on here, too, and um, choose between them. Like, we could spin yeah. up a mission and do that and uh, and still come back to this. I like the way you uh, harvest resources in this game. Yeah, they did good with uh, how the trees fall and everything. No, but also like the stone that you get like portions of it. Oh yeah, it's got yeah, the, just the, the two the wax and then the entire stone is gone. Yeah, or like uh, I like that arc where the rock kind of blows up and you can see it from a mile <laughs> away. It's huge chunks. Well, it does up that in Conan too. Yeah. But yes. It's always helpful to learn how to set up servers. Yeah. I've actually been wanting to do that for a long time. Every time I make server adjustments on the fly, uh, when we're playing on other servers, I always want to show people, but I can't because it uh, shows our IP. But uh, this just gave me the incentive to kind of set up a dummy one so that I could show you guys oh the whole God, process. Oh my God, again? Without uh, giving too much away. By the way, there's a jaguar over by me. Just killed you, me. You got this. Oh, it killed you? Oh, yeah. I thought you were the master Or huntress. I'm almost dead. Almost dead is very different than dead. I'm unconscious. Big difference. Well, well the jaguar is actually dead. Oh, man, Thank I lost you. my... Give me that. Did you get her? Or are you still dead? Oh. Alright, let me see. Oh, dead prospector. Oh, she's got all this stuff. Let's see what stuff she's got. Yeah, do uh, our stuff. <laughs> Go through our pockets for loose change. Oh. I want this jaguar pelt. Make a rug out of it. Yeah, so I'll try to do that again for some of the more complicated servers. We need that. I'm never leaving the house again. I better make it bigger for you real quick then. <laughs> I think I just got a concussion. And Maybe like a return to lockdown, isn't it? Yep. Lockdown. I'm like, I have to stay home all day and play video games? No, not that. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the horror. <laughs> what did I need? I needed four more of these.
Did you make an anvil? I did not. Uh, no, okay. So I just wanted to check before I... I do need the textile Maybe. bench and the anvil and all the other things are going. I, um... You need all the things. Right now I'm just trying to make enough space to put them. Got uh, it's all five and the variants are on R. Yes, we're on sticks. Oh, I counted it wrong. I think there was a few walls still in here. Yeah, this is my first time on sticks, so as soon as we get a little bit more set up, um, I'm looking forward to doing a little exploration. bench and some nails and at least put a stone roof on this thing I I wondered if we should just jump straight to building get you because you you were talking about building one on uh, the cliff or what yeah edge. yeah but we could do that later I don't want to just build okay. That's boring I still got it you got it. I still uh, sniped a, a wolf. Awesome. Nice. Did you get the uh, kill shot? Kill yes. cam? I love that. <laughs> it's the, very satisfying. The Skyrim kill cam? What was it? Why? Why? Yep. Why? And this extra stairs will not go to waste. Ooh, carrot! Boop. Ah, pui. I think my sleeping bag might be in the way. Maybe. Let's pick it up. And put it down. There are some centaurs in the workbench for you guys. Some what? Centaurs. Okay. <laughs> I'm using up my space station ones. While it's raining, it's probably not the time to do that, but... It's always raining. Right there, so... Temporarily. That one and that one. Okay, it stopped showering. Hey, Hazel Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> he's all days. I think Daisy, because, uh, what's his face did Daisy? Dean Hall. All right. We need a roof on this thing now. We're going to need uh, 12, no, 8, I think 12 of these. Can we do 12? Yes, we can. 
Oh. Oop. What's going on? 15 viewers, 13 likes. Oh yeah, you definitely can do better than that. You thought you recognized that bird squawk? Yeah, we got the Kias on here. Hey, hey! Nope! Don't you dare! Oh, they hey, will. Hey. They will dare. You! Cut it out! Pondering getting this game? Yeah, is it your kind of thing? Hey, 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 cut it out. Stop, stop it. I'm not dying to a kimono. Stop it. That's, that's the right attitude. <laughs> I'm just about dead, though. That's why I might. They're tough, because even after you kill them, they can still kill you. <laughs> it's another one! Cut it out, dudes! Go away, go away, go away. I don't like you, go away. They don't That's like you none neither. Oh, they darn it. That was my first death was to a Komodo. I'm down again. Oh. And they're eating my wool. Where are you? Down by the stream. Oh, okay. And yeah, my first death was to uh Komodo. Oh, it's eating you now. Oh, sprained my ankle. What's this? Do Deep that. ore mining deposit right here, aluminum. Look at that. All right, where's their weak spot? Is it their head? Oh, two of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, three of them. Oh, there's three? Yeah, well, now there's one. Now there's none, but the deer is coming in. Oh, wait, you're not dead. Yep. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Do you know the trick of... I think of, this is going to um, be like 99% of this stream. Can you, you uh, saving me. Can you pick up a Komodo? Um, maybe... Really not. That's too bad. It's the most foolproof way of getting your arrows back. The animals you can pick up. No, you can only skin them. Yeah. If you get any fancy arrows in them, give them back. Uh, not in this one. Love the building and arc. Yeah, it's a little more basic. Oh, this one had one. Then the building an arc, but it's not bad. Um, yeah, but it doesn't have like building mods like uh, like arc does. So there's no structures plus. There's another komodo. Oh, a little jerk. Oh, it's a little one. Right. My arrows. These are my fancy workshop arrows. Oh, did I burn up my whole torch? I did. Need some sticks. Yeah, it can still, can still be pretty satisfying. It's definitely a similar concept for building. Um, but yeah, the, the building in Ark is a bit more advanced. What I know me most is the um, snap point. <laughs> Oh, snap, snap point. Yeah, these ones behave a lot better in general. They do? I think so. I feel they're very annoying. But again, it's been a while. The arc yep. ones vibrate. Yep. They're all... Really? Especially when you're dealing with the triangles. Oh. Uh, like the, um, the slope triangle roofs. Ark was a pain in the rump to build. <laughs> yeah, they, uh... Oh, try Conan. Conan 
them I still feel is better than Arc 2. You do? Yeah, for building. Really? Could be that it's just because I'm used that's to Arc. That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll 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 let you live with the delusion then. Okay. Let me eat my berries. Eat my berries and my ribs. Oh, it's dried gamey meat. That sounds lovely. Conan is much better. I love it. Combine Icarus and Conan, and you have a winner. Yeah, this is a long way to go, actually, to get to that level that Conan's at. Um, and Conan just has so many more yummy building pieces than Ark. Well, there are some missing, and they don't all match, and that's so annoying. There are some missing, I do wish they don't all match, and the Conan ones they're expensive. Arc because... The Ark had four. That was it. Yeah. And then, of course, there's all the mods, but, you know. And none of them were very stylized. Did you kill a parrot? You monster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still I'm still holding it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's stuck to your belt. Um, um how, how It's quite how colorful. It it's pretty large. Oh, gee. I think you have to drop it. I think it's Q. There you go. There you go. Oh my Somebody god. Somebody want a bird? <laughs> and I'll flight this bird. Yeah. I'd like to return this Wonder parrot. Why? why? What's wrong with it? <laughs> it's dead. It's faulty. It's not dead. It's sleeping. <laughs> oh my god. Holy Hannah. Oh, you Did know you what? see that? No. When you skin it, it looks like it looks like it looks like a, a like a like a like a a human corpse Chicken. thing baby. It has fingers. It's like Voldemort, you know? No, it's scary. Baby Voldemort level creepy. Like when you skin a rabbit, it looks like a dead cat. I did not need to know that. I resent that knowledge. <laughs> I didn't know that. I do not know that. Sorry. Can't unknow it now. No. No what? Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's part of the reason I don't eat a whole lot of rabbit. So I love that you have the bars over the animals. I just wish they weren't that bright. The bars over the animals? Yeah, I have the I have the like the health bar over the animals. Oh, that's like a skill. I don't have that one. Yeah. It's very nice, first of all, because you can actually see where stuff is. And also when it's about to die and you're not, or vice versa. But it's very bright. <laughs> oh, Lord. Again. Uh... Why didn't that cure that? Or are they just damaged from the rain? I think that solved it. It's having stability issues with these top pieces. I make any more? No, I don't need wood. I'm not using any thatch. Did I make thatch? Were those thatch pillars? I didn't mean to be. Ooh, lucky. I did. If it was, it was not intentional. I didn't know I'd learned any thatch.
I thought I was making the wood post. Do we need... Are we... Short on wood? Always. Yeah, generally I get to level 5 before I learn any, uh, any building pieces because I don't even want to spend the points on thatch at the beginning game. But, uh, his coffee cups, like, what are they, like, never use thatch or whatever? Mine would be, uh, free brown mulch. <laughs> Which one did I make? Oh, I did make the thatch ones. Shame on me. We can fix that. Let's see, let's just make like, uh, I don't know, 20? Yeah. <laughs> Pre brown mulch. Hey, did you just walk down a tree? Did I what? So I just got I just got hit by something. <laughs> uh, I did a storm. minute ago. Oh yeah, they do fall in the storm. It was a oh, storm. Yeah. It wasn't Could me. That. Mm -hmm. Might be a branch or something I got. Was the storm? I didn't do it. Uh huh. So they said they uh. Yeah, the hammer is also the upgrade tool now. Yes, it is. Yeah, cool. right click. There. Look at that. Oh, right to upgrade. Oh. I like Look how you can just that. put stuff in, in like, uh, like, you can in Conan where you just put you know, a wall through a wall. So you just yeah. place one with the other. Back in a minute. Hmm? Why can't I do this one? Too far? Okay, fine. I'll do it this way then. So, Garwin, for you, you said uh, Valhalla and Canon are tied uh, first as for building. Oh, you mean oh Valheim? My gosh. But Valheim inches away with, with first place when it comes to terraforming? It does. You're absolutely right. And it also allows um, f total free placement of building pieces, which is pretty darn cool. Oh, it didn't work because I had put it away. That's right. That's right. Oh, I gotta do some repairing. Quick, quick. Um. Guess what? Uh oh. Do I want to know? I'm unconscious. <laughs> yes. All right. Let me. I just gotta keep our house from falling apart, and then I'll come save you. Yep. Yep. I'll just chill. You just lie there. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Where are you? Uh, it's going so well. You're along the back wall there. Yep. She kind of just sleeping. Slacking. Alright. Is there something that's gonna kill me out here? There was a Komodo. I almost got it, but it got me first. It was only level 17, so it's not that bad. No worries. I, I knew what you meant. There you go. Thank you. I'm out before the Komodo finds me. <laughs> ha! I got it. <laughs> Revenge. Get it. 
can't let it was a level five Komodo get away with that. Oh no. Okay. Oh, the Can tree. We just pretend it was like a level fifty or something. Oh my god, that's what happened. I uh, level one hundred. Why not? Someone dropped a tree on our house. Who did it? Just the wind. Isn't that what we're? Why can't I repair? Anything to repair? There we go. Got it. Uh, yeah, where the tree fell. Okay. On our lovely house. Oh, I'm out of these. I need at least four more. What does the uh, drying Smith rag in. need to dry? Nothing, I think. Just the thing you're going to dry. G-Con went AFK for a bit. He didn't log out yet. Probably had a little real life stuff to attend to. Because it doesn't seem to be drying. I don't think it does. But it's been a while. Could not be remembering. Three, four more. Oop. Full stability. Oh, I've forgotten about that one. The, uh, Control a uh, left control shift. You can move like all the items of that <laughs> of that uh Yeah yeah. Category. I was just remembering <sighs> that one myself. That's a nice one. So nice. That's a nice quality. Oh my light. Seriously. Where's the manager? I wanna complain. I don't know. It ranged let much. me go find <laughs> let me go find him. <laughs> Wouldn't possibly be me. Well, you don't control the weather, so... No, they don't let me do that. So, yeah, Isn't there I am... something about, like, a weather control thing? Or is that a mission? Something about the... That is a mission, but, uh... Yeah, I don't... It's not something we can do normally. No, so that's why it's connected in my head. Okay. Oh, there's a hole. Uh, yeah, you, f you feel free to repair things. Have you made yourself a... No. Rep ...repair hammer? No, because that would be clever. Um. <laughs> I'll oh, do that. Oh, we know you're very clever. Uh, Don't pretend um, you're not. Where do I make a repair hammer? <laughs> in, your, in your belly. Ah. Uh. Weird. Um, or wherever your inventory is. Pockets? I have, uh, I have a flare. I have a wooden hammer. Is that the same thing? Yeah, a wooden hammer. Okay. Um, let's see, we need. I think at least eight more of those, maybe? Uh, what's that? That's the thatch. I learned thatch, I think, just for, um... What did I learned that for? I guess for scaffolding. That's why I learned that. Go big or go home? Well, there's so many crafting stations that your home can't be too small. 
Yeah. That's the problem. That's the only thing that's really it's annoying. It's not as bad as Conan, but still pretty bad. Conan is the worst of that, man. Uh, it's a bit ridiculous, yeah. And if they were just smaller, you know? You're right. Aha! I fixed something. Hey. Oh, there it is. Right, now I gotta figure out how they match that up. I think, uh, let's see what do they got. Do they got the inside corners? Oh, and did I do these as the roof? I don't know. I think the inside corners might be these, the wood roof corners. See, let's make some of those. I know we'll need some. I don't think these switch she into comes a back. corner. You want to sleep, uh, monkey? Or oh, are sure. you in the zone? No, let's do it. Oop. Actually, that's what I was about. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, I'll just be AFK for a little bit. I'm hungry. Okay. Ah, uh, see, I think it's the inverted one. Yeah, like that. And then we need the other inverted one. Boop. Cool. And then we could do another of these little peak roofs. Then we'll have to figure out the middle. Oh, I need three more. Uh, of course, we're going to have to replace this in stone, unless we do the other house quicker. Oh, we can always just leave this as a little accessory house. I don't know. Alright, now we need a four-way intersection in the middle. <laughs> Is there such a thing in here? Did I get myself into trouble? I might have got myself into trouble. Uh, let's see. If that is such a um, Yeah, I don't know if there's a four way intersection. Nope. You are. No. No. Yeah, you, you'll have to have, um, yeah, that's the only way to do it. And you'll have to put the end pieces, the triangle oh, right. pieces in. There. With the little, the two little yeah. corner ones? It's pity, yeah, it, it, it's always a pity that. Um, yeah. I feel that's something they should fix. Yeah, this is the CC so far, Sir Garwin. And then, yeah, we pick uh, this little guy here. At least I can seal it up. There we go. That's nice. I think. Let's see if I did the right roofs. I might not have. Because it all matches, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Pretty nice. Let's make some more torches to put up there. Some light on the subject. Are we 
going to need some more sulfur. Do we got sulfur anywhere? Yeah, it's in the... Um, there's 24 in the mortar and pestle in the workbench. Look at G Kong go. He's got a cement mixer in here. Got a machining yeah. bench. It, it's all of a bit of a mess because I'm just throwing stuff down. Well, we got a little bit more room now. If you need some more space, feel free to expand up here. Starting to get our platinum tools online, so. Dang, dude. That makes me happy. Look at him slacking. Only at platinum? Gosh. I'm quite keen to get to the um the the water wheel. Uh show you how that works because that, it's one of the coolest additions to the game I have to say I am starting to get a little bit of FPS hit already from just this building and these lights really? yeah Oh, Unless the, there's a, it's, is it's there a the forest fire? Sources. No, it's it's uh, it will be the light sources that are. That sucks. Of course, you're using ray tracing, which will. I don't think it affects me so much. I'm still getting. Oh well, actually, yeah, I'm down to 32 fps. Maybe. Yeah, that took me down to 50, just with those torches. I know it's that it's more of an issue with um, AMD cards. You know, a couple of guys who have complained about like, light sources. Yeah, I go outside and I look away and I get it back up to like seventy-five. Yeah. You gotta have light though. Crap. Oh heck yeah. All right, it is what it is. All right, what should I do next? Oh, I need to put uh, a whole bunch of windows. One, two, three. How much is there on their side here? One, two, three, four, five times four minus one. Nineteen. Why not have enough wood? Definitely don't. Oh, here's some. Oop. Oop. Oh, I can do it. Thank you, Nicola. Glad you like it. Someone's tagging me in the server. Okay. So putting those on. I love the animation when you put the uh, windows in. They open and fall shut. Stick falls out. Yeah, that's definitely something that needs to be optimized. Although, it's gotten a little bit better. Well, I can still see it. Um, it's kind of true in any game, though, that light is very expensive graphically. Yes. But um, 
There should be enough overhead that you can afford that hit. Like, you can't take away light costing, but you can keep your game so there's enough overhead for it. Like, Conan is actually really good at optimizing their building pieces, the best I've seen. These guys are kind of one of the worst still so far. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Alright, now what am I doing, G-Con? Uh, I, I don't know what I should do. Well, I mean, need even you to build. I'm going to move this uh, concrete thing upstairs. Okay. Uh, X. No? What did I pick up? Oh, I picked up the, the, the crate. <laughs> oh, right, really good. Uh, can you help? There's um, some junk on the ground here. Oh, okay. Grabbing some wood. Ooh, the concrete furnace looks different. Yes, it changes skin. It is, uh, I think it looks much more like an actual concrete furnace. I think that's a much better skin for it. Mm hmm Here, I'll just do this. It's fine. Boop, boop, boop. At some point, we can organize these better. Bum landed? Did he? I guess I could just look on the map. I don't think so. Why, did you see a notification for it? Yeah, I don't see him on the map. I didn't hear a dropship come down either. I don't know, it's still just three of us. Uh, there we go. Alright, concrete makers upstairs now. Please. Thank you very much. What do we need to make more concrete? We need more stone and tree sap. Yes. Uh, tree sap okay, yep. making. What, what you put in there? You put. Oh, you got stone. Okay. Yep. Maybe your imagination. It's it's like an outpost, but it's not an outpost. It is an open world. Uh, the way it differs from an outpost basically is that um, things don't respawn. But you can't have an outpost with an open world anymore. Used to be you could. All right, what resource do you need? Buffalo. Let's see. Well, it's electronics next, so it's going to be epoxy. So I uh, will go and grab some sulfur. Sulfur it is. Let me get this uh, roof out of my inventory. I'll put it here. Put that there. Actually, these we'll just destroy them. Destroy. Cannot have thatch. I don't want to commit heresy. No thatch permitted. No. Actually, I mean, I, I, I still do use it. Uh, 
I like it as a scaffold sometimes. Room. Yeah, and I use it for placing the um, that little trick you taught me with uh, placing the half pieces on the outside of the roof. Oh yeah, I use it for that because it's uh, yeah, it's, it's like a, a temporary placeholder. Yeah. We'll put animal stuff. Here. Yep. Someone's survival backpacks in here. Fine. Feel free to use it if you wanna. I've got mine. Okay. Thank you, though. Since yours, yours would be fine because it's not stinky because you took a shower. Kind of attacked, but okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> Attack. Uh huh. I can't tease. Ooh, Buffaloes. Ooh, there's a baby Buffalo. Hi. Hey, pretty. Junior Buffalo. Hello. Yeah. Okay, sulfur. I expect he will. I expect he will. Alright, off to find sulfur. Here's some. Yeah, we'll have to restart the server at some point and see what, if anything, does respawn. Just for science. Since it's dedicated servers and those are new, there's a chance that uh, there might be unexpected results. It would be kind of silly. It might be have a long timer, but it would be silly if it didn't. It's likely it doesn't. It they. Doesn't. Uh, this is why they added the deep beam uh, ores. So that when you mind all the days, you could still get stuff. It's one of the things where they're really trying to push a certain style of play. They want you to have to go further afield. They want you to have to use the uh, the deep ore mining, and they're yeah. trying to also uh, give you they a reason. You up, uh, huh? Okay. Give you a reason to use the buffalo. Yeah, they want to push you up the tech tree, basically. Um, but tier, tier 4 is shaping up now. It's actually getting... Because it, it was always a kind of a bit of a mess. But it, it's actually getting pretty cool now. Some, some nice things. Why did I get an XP hit? You get an XP hit even if you get revived? Did well, you, you die? Oh, yeah. I thought that it was generally only if you respawned at your bed. Um. Yeah, that's what just. You got an XP hit for. For being revived, huh. yeah. Have any? I think. Yeah, I got a half my uh, XP bar is red. Oh. And again, it has been a while since I was revived. Jinx. Um. 
so could be that it's might have earned it, earned it back, yeah. Almost overburdened. I'm not going to harvest those pumpkins and watermelons till we actually have an ice box oh. or are ready to cook them. Yeah. Or ready to plant them. I didn't die, oh. die though. I went unconscious. Dying is considered when no one can revive you and you have to respawn at your bed. Go get your bag. You were just knocked. Yeah, I was just knocked out a little bit. Having a little rest. It's so tough. Resting my eyes. <laughs> Level fifty Komodo. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, another baby buffalo. Sounds like that might be the next project. Getting a stable up and running no I shouldn't have Sir Garwin oh lordy really I gotta put in my complaint to the management as well yeah it's like alright those birds you can tame them and ride them but apparently they're hostile yes you have to you have to murder the parents. Oh my so goodness. You the young. Yeah, it, it, it's a little brutal. Like, they'll know that you took their baby? Well, you, you can't actually attempt to tame um, one until you've, you've killed his parents. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Tragic. <laughs> it's, it's Can you tame Komodos? No. The wardens, no. Uh, it's just the buffalo and... Uh, and the big birds. Yeah, moors. Poop. I want a Komodo army. This is an ark. Well, it could be. That's true. <laughs> that'll be the, the first... The premise is that, pretty much the same. That'll be the first mod. Komodo taming. Uh, Someone's already done a polar bear taming one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I haven't tried it out. Apparently, it's quite good. There's no mods officially available yet on the uh, server. Generally, G Portal has them. Um, Kind of these like one click mod additions. No. Wasn't my knife I was gonna drop? Why not? Oh. Don't press that Q button. Oh no, no, no. It's not Q. No. No. <laughs> I, I, I got rid of that a long time ago. Yeah, I, I switched mine to the. Uh, that question mark key on, on the other side of the keyboard because I kept accidentally hitting Q and dropping my ball. Yep. Yep. Uh, so <laughs> Same. That got remapped right quick. <laughs> uh huh. There's also. I was uh, playing with uh, with Alex and I just I kept because Q is something different in Arc. So I kept dropping weapons uh, and I couldn't find them. So I was like, uh, I need a I need a new knife. I need a new axe. <laughs> Alex, hey. I need a new knife. <laughs> Hey, Nim. One of the, How are you doing? One of the great things they did recently oh, was... Hey, bird, um, go away! Shoo! Shoo! Moa, go away! I can't move! Go away! Huh? Are you? The, ah. well, they introduced throwing knives um, uh, as a separate thing. 
Oh, so you so can't throw your regular you, knife anymore? You can't throw your regular knife, which is great, because I've, yeah. I've lost five or six enormous knives that way. Yeah. And 400 inches a piece is kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. So oh, I am so thankful they did that. That's right, Sir Garwin, they're chocobos. We shall no longer call them moas. They are officially chocobos. Oh. They're, they're big ass things. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you want the sulfur in okay. this left mortar? Uh, yeah, please, if the space I shall move there the you steps go. over to. This mortar. I assume the silicon goes upstairs. Cement mixer. Oh, I can't move. Is she? Can I move now? Yes. Okay. Oh. That. That. Nice. All right. What do you need more of? Um. I think we're good. So, I think that's a sort of fabricator. Oh, aluminum. Aluminum? We're not ready for it yet, but there is an aluminum deep ore thing right in front of us down there. There's, I think there's some in the cave. Where's the nearest cave? Uh, it's just up... Um, yeah. Although that one I might have mined out, but it's uh, just up there. Just oh, really? The, uh, yeah. um, does it have a... Uh... Oh, look at that. Does it have the wormies? Uh, yes. Two, if I recall. Okay, I'm gonna... There's, there's a bigger cave further along. I'm gonna do Hi, buddy. Nope, don't spit at me. Okay. Give me that I can't stuff. Remember if, I can't remember if there's anything left in it. I might have mined that cave out. I will find out. Mm, yeah, it looks like not a whole lot. Might have left a piece of something here. Well, oh, that's a tree stump. What are you doing in here? <laughs> yeah, the huge tree stump. Yeah, this one is goners. Okay. There's some level three caves um, here. Okay. Um, guys. I'm the whole thing. I'm just gonna. See if it's got aluminium. It, it followed me home. Can I keep it? <laughs> That's up to you. Did you. So you murdered his parents. Oh, well, she hit me. <laughs> I was just saving myself. Oh, it's sleepy. What do you call it? Aggravated assault? I can't really see because we don't have the the thing to make the the animal bed yet. I don't no. think. I think is that takes twelve bed. I think it is. Oh man, you can't get the uh, rest of the silica. It's like the uh, it thinks it's in the cliff, or not like the oxide. Oh well. Oh yeah, this yeah. That is quite annoying, that. Wish stuff would respawn even if it took like several days. Yeah, they do want you to use the mining drills. Yeah. I was having this argument oh, with we, we uh, got one up here now. Fortizar. I was like, I'm telling him that the non respawnables in this point kind of kill it and he's like oh no it'll take you forever to mine everything on the map and i'm like you don't know my crew 
we we have done that. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. I said we've we've mined the whole map before. He's like, oh no, that would take a tremendous amount of work. And I said, uh, he says it would take weeks even to get the forest mine i said we had the forest mine day one <laughs> yeah he um he doesn't play with a whole lot of other people so no I, I, he's missed out on a big chunk of the experience why yeah. do you want to solve uh, i'm just i just put it in this this oh, chest yeah. right here just now uh, okay yeah i said my crew man they they'll mine the whole map and in, the, in a matter of days. <laughs> Get eight people on here. No problem. So it does kind of give you a finite limit to what you can build and what you can do. Depending on how, how productive the deep ore stuff really is. Last time I played with those, they seemed really slow. And they were finite, but apparently, what, they're infinite now? The deep ore? I heard someone say they've gotten 5,000 ore out of one of them. Uh, the which, cave in the desert, really? that huge one is awesome for ores. Yeah, but we, we get them all. <laughs> well, we're on a different map now. Uh, yeah. And that's a different map, but even even you know Olympus, we would mine out all the all those big caves. Yeah, I mean we didn't get every bit of iron, but we got all the precious bits. Um, and it's also, I mean the building. I did some really expensive builds, like concrete and glass builds will just chew through all your iron and everything else. And yeah. Um, and then if you're equipping eight people with tools and rifles and stuff, yes, that uh, will also chew through it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one sort of. If there's a downside to the uh, the multiplayer, it, uh, that you're sharing the map's resources with. <laughs> what is this mess you've made? Uh, keeps, yeah, I'll learn sticks. I mean, we'll see. This is like this map is kind of a tester. I'm not going to be too worried about it this time, but uh, in the future, we may want to be super conservative about how we mine, like, make sure we have the attachments that give us. The very most of whatever we're mining and so on. I mean, I'm using. Okay, Lai. I am using the pretty decent space station pick right now. This one. 125% yield. I guess it's okay. But they get up to like 140 something, I think. My stamina bar was out. Yeah, I don't think that was why uh, I couldn't mine it. I think it was in a collision with the cliff. Sometimes the collision of terrain and the actual physical look of the terrain don't necessarily line up. Until I'm just under overweight. Oh, 
that's a big advantage to uh, buying the workshop enormous pick is as a pick it's uh, it, kind of meh. but it has a minus 50 percent encumbrance right buff. which one was that uh it's the anaris pick it's the top two one of the top tier picks there's two there's there's an anaris one and there's a lot but yeah if you have if you hot bar it reduces the encumbrance penalty or something like that yeah so uh that makes a huge difference you, you, essentially you no longer need to worry about being cumbered right wasn't it like even if it's broken but you have it in your hot bar as, as long as you have a oh, good lord a wolf pack out here any more no no oh yeah this one i can hear oh i got pneumonia yeah, how lovely right. um as long as you have it active oh really Komodos? Yeah, the rock was meshing. Should have kicked it. Banned it. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm down. Nope. Coming. I had like a pack of wolves and then a pack of Komodos who moved in to eat the wolves' bodies. Get back up. Stop slacking. Awesome. Thank you very much. Get this guy's leather. Being unconscious from injury is no excuse. You gonna play on here at all, bum? No pressure. I need a stairway on this side. Don't have it installed. Oh well. Never be able to play it then. Can you get up here? Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I've gone and done it. <laughs> I'm in a hole. <laughs> I'm stuck. Help! Save me! Uh... Chikon? <laughs> I may need some stairs, please. <laughs> or a ramp or anything. <laughs> oh, right, okay, I see, the, I see the torchlight. Oh, you're stuck in there. Yeah, um, I am no. truly stuck. I've fallen in the idiot trap they made for me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're so kind. We need some stairs over here. And, uh, while we do them, we might as well cover up uh, that hole. <laughs> that was quite the trap. Yeah, I could have used Unstuck if I didn't have friends. g saved me. Oh, well, you saved me first, so... Where's that? Alright. There's no reason we're not smelting all these, right? Everything. 
Um, I usually smell everything. I sometimes save some aluminum. For aluminum building? Um, yeah. Um, I just thought it's a little bit bizarre. Why? That's the one building piece that gets built out of ore rather than ingot. Yeah, I remember that. Well, we're nowhere near exhausting the map yet, so... I assume. Oh, good lord, no. Um, oh, he doesn't have to trade it in. Now, he's still actively playing Conan, for sure. That is our... our priority game right now, but... He's just pretending that's an excuse. I'm sure he's got room on the drive for it. Oh yeah, I've got, uh, what have I got? I've got a Komodo bite. Did Actually, I'll sip it right now. Did you, you said you made something for that? Yeah, it's in the uh, herbalism bench. Do the, um, yeah. I need my medicines. What time is it? Uh, you could die. We can't. Can we sleep now? Yeah. I, forget the, I forget the times you're allowed to sleep. 18. Let me take right. a quick flying break. I'll be back in one minute. Yeah, I need to do that too, actually. Alright, guys. Taking a bio break as well. I'll go up here so I'm not in everybody's way. And, um. Let's see. Here was. Alt. How do I. I forget how to leave you guys with a better view. I guess you just get to see my backside for now <laughs> until I remember. <laughs> I'll be right back.
be right back. I'm just warming up some coffee. Uh, oh, le actually, leather. If you if you like hunting, that I, would be I need great. A... <clears throat> can you make better bows? Because I can only make the first one. Okay. Yeah. I uh, I can I can make a cave worm bow. That's probably as good as you get. Except uh, that would be amazing. Um, bum, 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 bum. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I need I just need some oxide quickly. Uh, and then we need to find some cave worm bits, which I think they haven't despawned. They will still be up in this cave. Okay. I'm back. I'm back? Yeah. Thank you. I've got coffee again. <laughs> that is very important. Mm hmm. Did you happen to collect any cave worm stuff, MP? Oh, uh, I dropped most of it. Because uh, it's heavy. I brought a little bit back. Let's see. There's two scales in this box. What do you need? I'm just going to make my uh, um, cave worm bow. Oh. Yeah, I can go and... Um, um, you worms. left all those ones in the other cave. I'll go grab them if they haven't despawned. They might have despawned by them. Oh, God. Let's go see. If they despawn, that means the worms might be back. Let's kill some more. You heard my yawn? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't sleep last night. You know, I was so responsible. I was like, okay, I got a paid stream tomorrow. I got to be on top of my game. And I went to bed in time. I have like eight and a half hours sleep. So I thought, okay, it takes me a half hour to fall asleep. I'll be good. And then, man, I could not sleep for the life of me. When I finally fell asleep, I woke up three hours later. I never really got back to sleep. That was funny. I did pretty much the same thing. <laughs> so I tried to be responsible, but it just didn't work out. Oh, I used my ramps. Should I have left elsewhere? Oh, right. <laughs> you had ramps there. Uh, where was that? 
I think you can run round. I'm just, uh, I'm being lazy. It's sort of the opposite of lazy, right? <laughs> being industrious. This is often slopes in this. I feel like you should be able to get up, but you can't. Yeah, probably won't be the longest stream today, guys. Let's get uh, a little set up today, and then uh, next time probably do some exploring of the map. Still some metal and stuff here, if nothing else. A sulfur deep mining deposit. That's some hey. aluminum. Uh, they've despawned. Yeah. Dang it. Uh, right. There's another cave close. And the worms haven't come back yet. Uh, look, hang on, hang on, did we miss one? Oh, we missed a cave. There's mm -hmm. uh, almost like a cave. Give me that. Came unprepared. I should have my uh, ramps and stuff. Let's see if I can get all this one. So how are you all doing out there? What's everybody up to? Pookie and Nem are the newest uh, members on the on our Discord server. Nem became a patron after the uh, after the Dark Tide stream a couple days ago. I hardly expected anyone to watch that one, let alone uh, have it inspire. Uh, patronage <laughs> that one was very indulgent I uh it's generally not the kind of game that people come to me for but I am an indulgent youtuber I play games for my own fun and to you know entertain you guys too but oh thank you man yeah if I'm not having fun what am I doing yeah. Well, it kills the the uh, you know the audience faster than if you play something that people are not that interested in. True enough. I can definitely tell when. Uh... Oh, my pick's broken. All right, that's that. Um, when creators are playing games because they feel like they have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Senior discount. <laughs> well, a senior viewer, not in age, but in the amount of time you've been viewing, for sure. Alright. You guys are funny looking. Not you, Pookie, the, <laughs> the, the Moas. <laughs> I actually have no idea what you look like. The Moas are very funny looking. Alright, let's save our torch. I did bring some uh, repair kits. Oop. 
But yeah, I was told that you cannot repair it in your inventory anymore. Nope. No, we can't. We need Confirmed. the uh, <laughs> the repair bench and power. Oh, I can't repair without power. That sucks, oh, man. Got, um... Oh, you tamed it. No, no, no. Uh, but oh, it's on it's, the way. I... It's sleepy. Oh. Yeah, I just have it walking around up here. <laughs> Uh, okay, Cookie says, laugh, LOL, oh, April. but I don't am have funny to do looking. the best bow, just a better bow. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, let's make. What do we need for the symbol? Oh, really? Because I can only make the wood yeah. bow. Ah, there we go. There's like the, what is it, the long bow that's in the yeah. workbench? Yeah. Yeah, I'll make, I'll make one of those now. Um, I'll still go to the cave and try to get some. Yeah, it's just it doesn't have to be the best right away. Okay. What's the next there one? Is... Like the aluminum bow or something like that? Um, there's the reflex bow, which is made in the machining bench, but actually the cave worm bow has the same stats, just not quite the same durability. Oh. I would appreciate a pick too if you have one, or if uh, you can make one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a pick too since we don't uh, have any power. That is no problem. I can make you both picks. Uh, cause I broke my Shingdong. Pick, uh, sh what are they called? Shingdong Dong pickaxe. Okay, there are two broken. platinum pickaxes in the machining bench. It is a very nice name. I'm going to put it and the repair kits in the uh, crafting bench until we can actually do something with them. What's up, Warlord James? How are you? Hey, James. Do you ever play... Uh, forget, do you play uh, Icarus? we get got Iron Mine servers now. Um, might need a better knife too, maybe? Potentially? Kind of? Good lord. I hate Well, being there goes the platinum. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need it for something else? Yeah, and you don't need to make the best. Uh, <laughs> I just saw your amazing. picture of your character, Nim, that you put in the Discord of trying to boost the Wi Fi signal. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. All right, I've got a okay. crummy. Um... There's a platinum knife in the. Uh... Thank you. Welcome. Uh, MXC pickaxe. But I don't really want to use that because we won't get enough yield. Yeah, I have a an in my. Uh... Yeah, NYC. Yep, one of those. <laughs> what he said. I was wondering if we should put a stone roof in this. Uh, uh yes, it's a good idea. Put down the fabricator and. Yeah, it's a good idea, and probably we need to come out one more with some overhang. Yes. You see, uh. Yeah, do we have a masonry bench yet? Oh yeah, yeah, it's, yes. been, it's been up for a while. Well, shows who's paying attention. Uh, uh, Alright, I'll, uh, I'll work on that. Yeah, That's a good job for me. Two, three, two, three. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, well, yeah. I think uh, we're going to need... Six times four, is that right? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, there's the fabricator. Uh, five, six, seven. Seven times four. Twenty-eight, dang. Is that right? Okay. 
gonna assume so. And then we needed three times four, twelve. Uh, plus two more. I think fourteen of these. And oh, what did I do wrong? Eight. Oh, dumb fish. Fourteen craft. And then there was eight of these, I believe. Have I seen the new gameplay of Nightingale? Well, there was no new gameplay. There was a um, CGI trailer with very little... Actually, I don't think they showed you any new gameplay in that. It was all uh, CGI. But unfortunately, I can't talk about it more than that. I would like to. Very much. It's against the law. Reminds me of a joke from um, Yes Minister. Oh yeah, what's the joke? Um, Sir Humphrey's talking to Sir Arnold and uh, he asks... Uh, so how are things going over at the Freedom of Information office? And he says, uh, I'm sorry, I can't talk about that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just the, the actor, whose his name I can't remember, but he, his delivery was just so perfectly dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was epic. That's that's about as good as the joke you made last night against the uh, Society Against TLA. Three letter actors. <laughs> yeah, man, I never done these NDA things before. I'm doing all these like grown up YouTuber things lately. And uh I got to do play, uh, I can say I did, got to do a play test of Nightingale, but unfortunately that privilege uh, makes me unable to talk about it. No. It's kind of frustrating. I'm not in trouble. So I'm all about Howie. being forthright stop and that. sharing stop information that. and stuff. Ow! Oh, my thing's broken. Can I repair that inside myself? Help. Uh-oh, are you dead? Oh, Komodo, go away. Are you okay? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay. Let's see where you're at. I could use some assistance. Okay. I am coming. Thank you. Calvary is coming. Oh, that looks hilarious. I'm spectating. Oh, yeah. When you run, it looks so silly. Well, thanks, so I feel attacked. <laughs> really, it looks silly. I can't help it. There's a crocodile in a Komodo in my area. Oh, center. there's a crocodile. That means you must be near here. The first time I've seen a crocodile in this game. You can generally run away from them. Just, uh, well, I was trying to kill it. I almost have oh, it. It's you not almost... dead yet. My goodness. Nope. Hope and die, crocodile. It... Hit it with your knife. Alright, oh, now it's dead. Now it's dead. 
All right, I gotta get my arrows before I save you. <laughs> Priorities. Crocodile skeleton, that's cool. Alright, there you are. Yep. Look at you just sleeping on the job. My god, can't get good help anymore. Anyway. <laughs> and you have this parrot attached to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chocobos. I didn't see the baby you brought home. Is he just wandering around the base somewhere? Uh, he, uh it should be up there somewhere, yeah. He may have stopped following you to do that after a while. I, I told him to stop following me, but it still walks around up there. While I left it. So you kill their parents and they follow you out of some sort of Stockholm Syndrome? Uh, no, you have to tell yeah, them But yeah. Nope, nope, go away, go away, go away, go away. You're not getting my bird. I don't care. Oh yeah. It looks all grown up. Oh, no, it's not. Juvenile. What are we lacking to tame it? Uh, a bed and a food trough. Yeah. Well, what are we lacking to make those? Uh, I think the bed is the textiles bench. No. No. Go away. <laughs> You can't need saving before you I can You're not getting my bird. Uh, Cut it out. Think you have to let me finish it, fixing yeah. the house before you can uh, need my help again. I'm fixing things. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> it seems like it forgets what piece you're using. There you go. All right. Can you give me the rest of that, please. Boop, boop, and boop. We'll need to put something in here too. You gotta have an overhang. This stuff to work. It looks like I might be short one of these two. Uh, does it let me? Go sideways like that. Thing. 
Looks like it should be able to go. Why not? Oh, there it is. Okay. And then we can hang these from that, yeah? There we go. And we got the storm coming in. It's good timing. Yeah, I'm not done yet, though. It's better, though. Bacon. Why do you want the bacon? In the dryer or the... Uh... In my <laughs> belly. Yeah. Put it in the fireplace. Get in my belly. Might have made another often. <laughs> you might have. It's uncertain whether you did or not. Okay, I, I did. Okay? <laughs> I confess. <laughs> I think that was already pretty much an admission. <laughs> Never. That just means you're not sure if you killed all its parents. <laughs> Technically, I think it's just... You know, the mothers that are down there? It could be the dads, too. Who knows? It doesn't say. You know, maybe it has, like, two mothers or three dads or... It could be one of those alternative families. Well, there are some where uh, it's the dads that take care of raising the babies. Mm-hmm. Well, they change, you know. So, who knows? But it was all alone, so I couldn't just leave it. Yeah, after you killed his parents. <laughs> you monster. Well, I'm glad it's you coming in and uh, murderizing all the things. You are? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. What nicer murderer could they ask for? Well... <laughs> it was love. Yeah. Killed with kindness. Miss Chris! Absolutely. There's plenty of room. There's only three of us on right now. Yep, I haven't seen a bear. In. You're gonna have to switch to being uh, Komodo bait. Or alligator oh, appetizer. Jaguar? Alligator, oh, alligator appetizer. Up. Or a moa meal. Let's go on. Moa meal. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I assume there's bears on the map somewhere, but I haven't seen one. There are, yeah. There's, um... There's a lot of spawns just around the corner. Uh, we're playing on the sticks map, so there's new stuff. I don't know if you've done this one yet. Oh, let these go! I know they went on the other ones. I'm pressing R to rotate, but it's not rotating properly. Come on now. Come on now. How do I get the others to go? Sigh. So 
Meanwhile, they're in there hammering as the place Ooh. falls apart. Oi! 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 Wow, okay. Okay. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Hammer away. I'm hammering. Right, I think I need a helper that ceiling. That was aggressive. Helper ceilings. Yeah, I've left the instructions in the server info room, Miss Chris, on how to get in here, but uh, feel free to jump in voice and let's, let me know if you need help. Should be straight, pretty straightforward, though, since we're all in here. Servers Remember up. the right password. Uh, yeah. That's a strange habit of helping. It's pretty picky totally about putting the right experience. password in. I mean, <laughs> so demanding that way. Yeah, so we... Up, oh, my hammer broke. You can repair it with a little wood in your inventory. Yeah. I think I might have all the wood in mine. I'm coming. Just see the the, <laughs> the ceiling thing just. All right, the wood's in there. In this <laughs> farthest right one. I only needed one wood. Put that there. All right, let's uh. Let's see. Let's make some helper thatch ceilings. Doop, doop. Craft. Trying to see if you still have a character to use. Oh, that would be tragic if you don't. Can I not? I'll go that way, but not this. Up oh, there. It is. Oh, I saw you. No, oh, no, you're the wrong one. Wow. So uncooperative. Should be so simple. Oh, there it is. I saw you. I saw you. Yes. Yeah, it's still trying to find just the right pixel on the screen to get it to place, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to every place but where I want it. It's funny, the other one's placed much more easily, but this somehow, if they're in a different cardinal direction sometimes they just behave totally different okay got that one done finally thank you for your cooperation not okay one more 
One more. Um, what do we want? We want this guy. Alright. Probably need our helper ceiling again. These I found it's easier off from the inside. You scared me. Strange bird. I should have placed outside. Look at it, monkey. Do you see it? See what? The bird. Oh my god. Doesn't it, uh, it kind of have fingers and it's these <laughs> It is a very strange chicken there. Mm hmm. We can go to bed if you wanna. Wow. Is that a proposition? Yeah, but you got your own sleeping bag. Oh. Say la vie. Bet you got cold feet. <laughs> I'll just keep moving mine a little bit closer. And we gotta get G Con to join us. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm battling cave worms at the moment. Uh. Mm. All right, Lion, it's not happening. Okay. Have to live with disappointment then. Oh. I'll make it up to you. Rain check. Woo! Stealth attack. Really? Way double. Okay. Where's the... Um. I could use a marker for <laughs> You could use a what? Oh, no. Like a marker for where your dead things are. There it is. Should be. Can I not do that? That one? No. Right, we'll just take it out. Oop, no? Oh, maybe I'm not close enough. Maybe that's it. Uh, boop. There we go. Alright. I think that's all the pieces on the inside. We just gotta finish... That one there. I believe. Oh, it's all dark now. Oh yeah, we're missing one of these slopes. Just spin around. Just spin around. The struggle is real. And you say it's easier than arc? Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, I've had similar problems in arc. Raleigh and I would often not build on camera. We'd just be like, okay, it's done. Let me show you. Yeah, but it's not like that anymore. <laughs> All right, that's not going to do it. Maybe we could do this. Uh, let me see. Do it from... There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it, game? Okay, I don't need it once. I need one more. I guess I gotta make a new torch.
guess I actually didn't really need to make these because uh, they're sheltered now. Maybe I might as well use them. I don't know. We still need something up there. I guess that's just going to be a regular ceiling, huh? one it's too high Arg. okay I'll make a couple thatch ones oh base looks cool lit up at night yeah, it's very homey. All right, yellow light is very inviting. You remember a time in Ark I got so frustrated I nearly ended the stream? Really? That sounds kind of unlike me. Oh, there it is right there. Help. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, one minute. Just gonna... Ah, crap. Off. At least I'm near the house, though. Right, see That's what I get are. from not healing up. Worm bits are heavy. What killed you? Oh, it's a wolf. Oh, he's trying to get our, our MOA. Oh, God. He killed it. You monster. Are you near here somewhere? Uh, over by uh, the cliff edge. Okay. Oh, I'm harvesting the moa before you see it and get sad. Okay. Thank you. So, I was coming to save. Alright, let's all sleep. Okay, I'm take a quick bio break. Building a dock. Where did I build a dock? Somebody needs to go to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, this is Chris. Hello. Oh, hi. How do you say, Long Chris? Time. Yes. I know. How you be? You still there? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. Okay. My headphones were acting weird. <laughs> um, now, I do have a question. How does the loadout work? It looks like it's changed. Oh, uh, what do you mean? So I can't select items. You can't? You take an item and drag it? Yeah, you could drag it or you can control click it over. Hmm. Okay. You should be able to. I have a box that says click I click to reclaim, but it doesn't there's nothing in it. Uh, do you not have any items? I do. Oh. I have a lot of items. Okay. Well I mean, but are they in they're not in the reclaim box? Are they no. they're just in the regular inventory? Yeah. You should be fine then. Okay. Yeah, the reclaim is just like uh, if you lost them, if you left them somewhere and you had insurance. But usually you had to move them over to the other side, to the right side. Yeah. To you take them down do with that. you. Yeah, that's what you're doing. I, I don't have another box over there, though. <laughs> it's really weird. Maybe I'll restart. Um, yeah, that might be a good idea. 
Are you you're joining the server and that's happening? Like have you yeah. already, you've already clicked to join the server? No. Because usually you had to do your loadout first, move your stuff over, and then join. No, or, no, you join and is then. Is it it'll, different now? You join okay. and then it'll give you the choice to um, choose okay. your loadout. Yeah. Okay, they've changed it a bit. Haven't played in a long time. I haven't either, <laughs> so I just went with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make another campfire or uh, fireplace. There it goes. Need some more wood. We need nice boxes. Uh... Hmm? Oh, stone. We could use a nice box, wouldn't we? Is there ice near here? Um, yeah, we're not too far from the, um, an arctic entrance. I could go and get some ice with some. Get done with this. <sighs> yeah, just, just go ahead and go through those steps to join the server and then it will, um, prompt you to do your loadout. Yeah, I'm on that part now and I'm seeing okay. it. Okay. Makes more sense. <laughs> Ooh, here's my fancy new platinum pickaxe. That's Miss Chris, Sir Garwin. Or was that Atlas? I don't remember, honestly. I need more context to jog my memory. But I might have been like, okay, I'll be back later, guys. <laughs> I've gotten... I'll be back. I seem to remember once where you uh, have forgotten to, to stop the stream. So you were going around doing other stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I seem to remember that. Hopefully I didn't do anything It wasn't long, but it was like... Like you've been at... I don't know, getting coffee or something, and then you came back. Oh! <laughs> I got to close the stream. It's only been like 10, 20, uh, 15 minutes or something. But, really? Uh, very entertaining. Yeah, I seem to remember that. Could be that it's somebody else. Hmm. I think it was you. Well, as long as I didn't do anything too incriminating. <laughs> Spoilers. Ooh, Bum guess. knows a memorable stream moment. <laughs> uh huh. You gonna share? Share. And there's there it is. Oh. Do you want the XP for spinning? Okay. Sure. I won't say no to that. Apparently I've recovered my XP debt. Where did you go? Oh, I hear somebody. There. Ooh. Full inventory. Alright, let's get another. Too far. Okay, there we go. Alright, got the double decker fireplace. Look at that. How fancy is that? Oh, looking pretty sweet. We'll leave this here as long as it lasts. Get up here. <laughs> Brown mulch. Oh, <laughs> that's not incriminating. That's just funny. There has to be other people who've lost it like that. Can't 
just be me. On the street. Well, you did uh, drag the rest of us with you, so. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. That a Miss Chris? No person! That is Miss Chris. That's she me. Has, she have made it. Congratulations. Oh, dang it, I just killed that bear. <laughs> what? Oh. Wow, okay. That's kind of violent. Um. He's uh, making a joke for uh, Miss Chris's reputation. No, no. no it's just the. Um, when it dropped down, when I landed, it sounded very violent. Oh. Like, you should have got underneath it. You missed your opportunity. I, I'm perfectly capable of killing myself on my own. <laughs> but that's Case a great point. way to go. Um, Case in point, are you dead right now? No. <laughs> my legs just doesn't feel that great. You've seen plenty on the verge of rage quitting, but never hysterical laughing for so long. Yeah, rage quitting <laughs> is kind of a thing. Oh, yeah. Some people, like, that's their persona, the, the rage stream. Woohoo! That's the bad thing is, is they end up getting a lot of views. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Drama. <laughs> Drama sells, man. Welcome in, Miss Chris. Thank you. To the new server. It's a whole new thing. You guys aren't even that far either. That's exciting. Yeah, no, we kept it pretty close. We just moved it over a little bit because um, uh, G-Con told us that was an alligator pit over there. Oh, great. <laughs> That's your new job to uh, feed the alligators. They're tough, <laughs> from what yeah, I remember. The, I mean, yeah, uh, have you played sticks? Post. I've played a little bit, not a lot, when it first came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my first time. They can be, they can be annoying because you know you you build a base and they're like. They're comfortably far away, like floating around in the lake. Uh, and then the next thing you know, they've crawled up and land and they're under your base, which is, you know, a little disconcerting. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> I thought you'd seen me. No, I was just collecting my things. That's what I do. Okay. I'm the pack mule and the bear bait. She goes halfway uh, across the map, I'm harvests everything, and then comes back at a crawl, completely overburdened. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're going to get along great then. This is accurate. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm out of silica. She's like, I'm almost there, and I've got 10,000. Hold on. <laughs> I'm moving at a foot a minute. <laughs> yeah, it goes, yeah. And then that's when I run across the map to meet her and try to un share the burden. All right, we are weatherproof now, officially. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. As long as you're sure. Absolute, absolutely. Well. Everything except my little thatch ramp, but that's temporary. That's temporary for, because it's going to catch on fire soon, or? Or, yeah, the rain's going to kill it, <laughs> or. Um, but it gets me up on the roof. So if you bring the crocodile here, I can, I can take shelter. There are some storms on sticks that can damage stone. Oh, man. 
Um, I take I it back. I don't think we'll get them here, though. So. Alright, what do we need, G-Con? What are we doing next? Um, are you what? seeing this, too? It kind of, this is your dime, man, so it's, it's your... Um, no. What you would like. I have relinquished Chris. control. What? Is it flying for you, too? And you are so much more familiar with the order of things. Now yes, than I it am. is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, mm, let me see. Well, it. I want an animal bed. What does that take? Oh yes, yeah, stables, or uh, should a kitchen be? I don't know. What, uh, no, mow a bed comes first. Okay. <laughs> if I have to choose. So, what do I need to do? I just bench. Uh, we need the textiles bench. Textiles uh, bench. I can do that. Fiber stick wood stone. You. Hold that thought, Mo. What does um, what does an advanced textiles bench take? Advanced textiles bench. Oh, you jerk! Uh, the fish, right? Th thanks a lot. Yes. Is that somebody else landing, or is that thunder? Oh, th there's a thunder. storm. Okay. The advanced textiles bench takes iron, wood, epoxy, rope, and steel screws. Well, that's not too bad. Can we the make the on. same stuff with that? And a uh, hard yeah. uh, storm incoming. Do we have uh, steel? Uh, there should be some in the fabric. Look at that. We've got... Oh yeah, we got screws here. Do you have a T4 you fabricator in here without any fanfare? Yeah. He didn't go, I am now yep. putting in the T4 fabricator! Everybody applaud. Well, we have electricity now, too. Oh my goodness. How do we have that? We are about to have water. Uh, I built a water wheel and a water pump, and I'm just hooking them up to the base. Oh! Nope. Let, nope. let the storm pass. Oh, I should um, have had some fanfare. Yeah. Well, I, I, I kind of thought I would I would plumb in the sink, so we've got running water. <laughs> oh, we got forest fire. Yeah, we got a good Look train. at you go! Should I mention it's running against the current? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. It's advanced. I said you were close, but now I think about it, actually it was Atlas who was trying to complete the dock and the final piece. One hell of a time being placed. I remember I was doing my base in the water in um, Aberration. And there was a triangle uh, foundation I couldn't place for the life of me and I was getting so frustrated and at that moment this guy donated a hundred bucks and I was like wow <laughs> I felt like I was failing the chat and instead he like did that and I was like that's amazing wow. look at that what the hell is that that looks like on uh, Conan, the Surge. You guys see that swirling cloud up there? To yes. the to the northwest. Oh, it's going away now. Oh yeah, it does that with the weather effects. Well, that's cool. We got a water mill. That means we don't have to keep the thing um, stocked with biofuel. Is amazing. Yeah, see, which that, means your refrigerators won't run out half the time when someone comes on and forgets to stock you it. You do, you do need to um, 
because uh, they, they fill up with like dead plants and fish and sponges and stuff. So oh, so it's not hundred percent reliable. Need to yeah, it it you can't like completely leave it. Um, oh, what do Here goes hey, our yeah. trees and our frame rate. Burn the whole world down. You trying to make a fire break, Lai? Yeah. Not having to, uh, you know, make sticks and then make these uh, the biofuel is uh, it's lovely. I should have made some of those uh, new water bombs. Yet. All right, let me not catch on fire. That would be a good idea. It's generally good advice. <laughs> We're doing some volunteer firefight now here. Yeah. Yeah, what we were saying about if you don't cut them down, you're just going to lose them anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a big fire. Uh, what? what was this won't chop down. Fire breaks. Yeah. yeah, it's already spread to the... Uh, the Hi, James. Oh, oh, Christ. Oh, Lord. Okay. What's up, Warlord? I guess you can't chop them down while they're burning? No. Or maybe it's charcoal and it's a pick them? No. You get charcoal afterwards, but you can't while they're... Ha-ha! There's a Komodo, uh... Being roasted alive, uh, I feel that. <laughs> okay, ouchies. Okay, that's not Wolf, good. I'm trying to save stuff here. Now is not the time. <laughs> you don't care. Sulfur and tree sap. I think we got, uh... Man, I can I feel it on the frame relatively. rate. Oops, wrong, wrong place. Wait, tree sap's over here. Mm -hmm. right, what else do we need? Oh, for crying out loud. Help. Did you die? <laughs> I'm unconscious, yes. Well, I made mistakes. <laughs> uh oh. It should be made. <laughs> <laughs> that should be my middle name in this game. Oh, yeah. Miss, God. I've made mistakes, Chris? Yes. Pretty much. Okay. Me, it's... I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Those Komodos are pretty tanky. Yep. Yes, they are. Okay, I resent that the things doesn't go back into the slots where I put them. Like... Don't dare it change your order. No, it doesn't put my uh, oxygen and stuff back. Oh, all right. You must be punished. There must be consequences. 
Um, so like in does Conan, the water does meal? Your, uh, does the water meal? Uh, does the water meal um, give you the water as well? Yeah, well, there's. Uh, or did you attach a, it to a, a? You put a pump down. Yeah, I attached it to a pump. Uh, okay. Oh god, thinking about that, that. Oh god, that means we need another water wheel because it won't power benches as well. Oh, that. Really? It only does one or the other? Yeah, so that's more electronics then. Silly. And that's what I mean, I suppose we just disconnect the water pump until we need it. Uh, and we need some wood. Uh, oh. yeah, well, not bear bait anymore, Sir Garwin. Komodo bait. Oh, you cut it. Sweet. The textiles bench? I'll make the, yeah, I will make the alterations bench. That will come in handy. That's what I need for the meals. Yep. So then in here, what did I make this to make for the mowers? Uh, the um, animal bed. It's not in here. It's not? No. Oh, yeah. I guess you can only do it in the regular one. Did I just make a boo boo then? Um, it's fine. Um... At least we can make the... Uh, Textiles bench. I thought you could make um Animal bed is in the textile bench. Yeah, yeah I did it in the advanced the... textiles and uh, it's not in here. The, f the food and water. Oh, Have you learned it? Buffalo pack. So okay. So it's got all of the armors, but not the animal. Oh god, that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, it should it should have everything from prior, right? But it doesn't. Yeah. Um. Okay. Fiber sticks, wooden stone, in this one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Textiles bench craft. Lie. That's lie. Well, Komodo's like her too. Mothers don't discriminate. They like everybody. Maybe I'll put this down here. Sorry about that, monkey. Um, oh no, it's fine. Uh, I don't mind making some a, wayfair armor as well. It's been a while since I, uh, I actually trained boats. They made a lot of changes. This is gonna have to go over here somewhere. Or over here. There's no rhyme or reason, it just fits. Alright, so the animal bed is fiber and fur. Yep. Yeah. And then we probably have to make the trough and stuff too. Yeah, I yes. imagine so. Um, do we need one bed per animal, or do we just need one bed? No, one bed will do. Okay, so like, that'll bed. do for like, I think four or five animals at once. What's the process? Mm -hmm. Um, you find uh, a juvenile, murder its parents, mm -hmm. uh, get it to follow you. Check. Home, uh, Check. introduce it to the, the food trough and just wait for it to tame. Okay. Uh, and then. Do we have the bed that, down? Claim it. Um, I made the bed. Right now I'm working on the food trough. I'm making some nails. Yeah, that's what we're missing for the food and water trough. 
And I expect there actually needs to be some food in it, right? Uh, I think that's a pretty logical conclusion, yes. I'm going to start with the promise how, of food. How do you have a heart, James? <laughs> I want a pretty heart in front of my name, too. How do you have a heart? If I only had a heart... Up, oh, damage again. Uh oh, what broke? Uh, stuff down here isn't doing great. Um, Why? There is something that is not happy. Is it because the windows are open? No, I don't know. But a strong uh, gust of wind and the tree doesn't. Uh, tree stuff doesn't like it. Oh, there's uh Oh, it's your uh your 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 walking thing. Oh <laughs> it's not <okay>. doing great. <laughs> that's, right. that's fine. Yeah. I expected that. They're kinda ugly. Hey, no. They are. Have you seen them up close? Like I their feel face. Oh, the moas. Yeah. <laughs> they are kind of ugly. It feels attacked. But like cute ugly. All right, we should have some nails by now. Where the thing goes downstairs. Oh, we got a whole lot of nails. Dunno, what was that? Oh, I gained a level. Alright. I'm level 50 again! Woohoo! Okay. So, have you noticed, uh, there's, um... There's now a sort of a, a mini bug, uh, when you come to, to join, um, Prospect. It shows your actual level, like, instead of the level cap of 50, it shows where you're actually, how many levels you've gained. No, no, I didn't notice that. Yeah, um, I am, I was, before I started this, level 496. Oh my word. Wow. <laughs> I know if you yeah. should be proud or embarrassed. No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sad admission, to be honest. How many hours I've played in this game? So can I just put this stuff on the ground? Or does it have to be in some shelter or something? Um We're gonna get a black storm burst, just so you guys are aware. You can just put it on the ground, um although it, it's been a while since uh let me see. I'm going to stick it in this little shelter right here and we'll see what happens. Uh, so we'll do... Oh, they're big. Let's see if it takes damage or not. Or let uh, nature do its thing when it rains. Oh, so this should actually be out in the rain. Uh, let's put it out... Here? I don't think it's actually raining, though. It says I can use a water container to fill it. Aww. Okay, there's water. Oh, it's sleeping. 
What kind of food is it like? Fresh fruits uh, and vegetables. Yeah. I had to put some berries. berries in here. Corn is really good because you can you can collect. We have corn there. right next door. Oh yeah. You know about just picking the ones up off the ground, right? Oh, I might. Oh, not uh, that kind of corn. I might. <gasps> I, I. Wheat. That's oh. what we have. The other corn. <laughs> yep. Alright, now I need water. Yeah, I don't know if wheat counts. I have no idea. I think it would. Or at least for buffalo. Oh, ouch. I broke my leg. Uh oh, Komodo, don't you don't see me? I didn't see me. I'm a Komodo whisperer. The water trough is full. Almost. I I filled it from my canteen. So one of them is taming now. Get out of here, Kia, before Vly sees you. What? Bird? <laughs> Where? <laughs> it was quite tempestuous, Sir Garwin. Evil burbs. Pretty. Seems fine. It yep. seems like it's um using it, bum. I'm slow because my leg is broken. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while. So we need to make a saddle. Most likely. Yeah. Yes. So I'll figure it out. I assuming that's a textile bench thing. Mm -hmm. No. No. No, that's not what it says in the uh, description thingy. Basic riding saddle. It's right here. I needed what? I need rope and leather. I do have a question though. I'll make up an answer. Considering that we get like jaguars and stuff up here, doing wouldn't it be a good idea to make an enclosure? Oh, because um, they'll eat our. Yeah, that's that's probably a good idea. That's uh, some more. I suppose. I nominate you, Lai. Put you in charge of that. Nope, I'm busy. <laughs> it's your idea. <laughs> Yeah, you're the builder. Uh, I think you build just fine too. Don't don't fake it. Do you know the amount of swearing I'll do if I have to build in this game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Let me just let me just tell you it's not pretty. I I'm intrigued. Now I have to see this. <laughs> I can't build it. I don't have the uh the thing's unlocked. Excuses, excuses. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, this one actually works. <laughs> I don't know if we have fences in here. We, I guess we have those in, those barricades now. Yes. There was something... Uh, yeah, fortifications. Isn't that the closest Jeez. we get to a fence? Could use those. That will definitely keep. So what I, what I found when I was experimenting with this was, um, if you built, uh, you know, the kind of the railings, because we made pens at the railings, and then they introduced a gate. Uh, to use with those, but the wolves would attack the railings, and if you weren't kind of careful and paying attention, they'd get through them pretty fast, and then just kill your mounts. So. I think the new kind of stockade fence is probably a much better bet. I mean, progress. Yeah, they're just kind of hanging out here, aren't they? Yeah. 
That's easy enough. Well, I did the hard part. Murderizing. Did you put weed in there? Oh. Hmm? No. Okay. So... Where is our wheat? Uh... It's right to the uh, right when you come outside the door. Oh, of the you house. didn't uh, use it yet. Harvest it yet. Um, let's see. Um, I'll put I'll put a stack of wheat in there and see if they eat it, because they're out of berries. Is there someone that doesn't want me to find a mount for them? All right, wheat won't go in there. Uh, right. Okay. So they will not eat wheat. Alright, so... We need some corn. They'll eat pumpkin as well. That seems like a... Yeah. high price, yeah, though. We should probably build some crop plots, actually. Okay, that was... Let's not discuss that. Um... <laughs> I may yeah. have mistaken a flower for a wolf and try to shoot it. Wow. Yeah, I'm very dangerous. Um, now you're murdering flowers. How, how does a flower look like a wolf? I just we're, saw something we're not gray discussing and it looked like the head of a wolf. <laughs> I just saw a wolf that looked like a flower. I just ran away though. I see pumpkins over there, but I don't want to give them to the birds. I'm looking for berries. Well, can yeah, they use just berries? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. We're getting low on nearby berries. I've got some on me. Lot of rope. <laughs> nope. Night is coming. We could actually sleep now. Killer rabbit. So they starve if you don't feed them. Don't tame. Yes, least. they 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 will starve and die. Not as bad as it used to be. I think they extended the time that they will go without food, but. Yeah, used to be if you left them alone for like half an hour, they would just without food, they would just starve and kill over. They don't die as badly as they used to. Oh yeah, look at it go! Eat your food, bird. Oh, I think they're cute. Got your saddles ready. All right, shall we sleep? Are we all here? Mm, I don't have a bed. They're not bed enough beds. You should have. Yeah, there's a bed. Okay. I thought maybe that was someone else's. Oh wait. Uh. Okay, it's time. Um, Somebody log off or something? One with yeah, five people yeah, just well, before? Uh, I was about to the say teams? there's Warlord, but it worked, so is he not on? There were five people before, now there's four. Yeah, he's not on <laughs> anymore. 
He was just standing here when I walked in. That's why I was like, I don't have a bed. Oh. I guess he logged or something. Whereabouts would you like your silica? Probably in the, um, the cement mixer. Okay. Our silica. Not my silica. I'm just the gatherer. Can you tame wolves? No. No friendly no, doggos. Sadly. Oh, your screen was jumping. Is that a feature? They have screens you can bend now. I didn't realize they had screens that would jump. Alright, so... Barricade stuff. Where do I make that? Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a Hello. wood railing gate. Uh -oh. oh, that's cool. Uh oh. That's should I, new. Should I press? What? Where are you at? I am in the base. Uh, do you do you want to do shenanigans for me? Um, Down by of the course. Big lake. Yeah, absolutely. Shenanigans. Let me put some stuff away here, real quick. How much room do I need for shenanigans? Um. Let's try killing a buffalo mama and steal its baby. Okay. Oh. Eli is all about it. Okay. I will come down there. Yep, yep. Okay, so there's the wood gate fortification, the wood spikes, the wood wall. So probably the wall and the gate is what we want. Yep. Iron. Wood. I think we're going to need to go mine some more iron because um, they it takes a fair bit of iron and nails. Well, let's see. there's the gate. I think we're good. There right. is uh, marked a large cave on the map. If uh, anyone felt like doing some mining, so we need to kill Mama, and uh, then we can take the baby. Okay. And hopefully without dying. <laughs> Are they harder to kill than they used to be? I don't know. Oh. They, like, they, I, I, I died they, to level five Komodo, so <laughs> they fight. They fight back now. Where's she at? Yeah, where'd they go? There was some just here. <laughs> oh, that's rude. Did they despawn? I think so. It's just because we were going for them. That's really weird. Well, we could go Did find another one. something to do with the, the weather, maybe? They were over here earlier when I was over here doing silica, so maybe they were just here too long? I don't know. Why is it not making it up? Where did you go? What do you think? 
going farther around to see if there's another one over here. Yep. Now it's raining. Means this should fill. Yeah, I'm not seeing any animals. No, they have a tendency to... at what there is to birds, but they have a tendency to disappear when it rains and stuff. Well, it's almost over. Oh! There's a cave. This is huge. Some of the animals are back. I see something over here. wall is so big. Oh, I got a kimono. Thank you, Sir Garwin. It's nice of you to want to do that. There's a lot of pumpkins around here. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I was saving them until we either had an ice box or a crop box. Yeah, I haven't gotten any of them. I was just clicking to that. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's cool. Oh, but it's still backwards. I guess I put the uh, gate on backwards then. You gonna get the new chip? No. I'm kind of broke right now, and I couldn't just get the chip. I'd have to get a new motherboard, new RAM, new everything. OK. 
okay lag? Yeah, you just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, yeah and that's I have some, some lag when it loaded like stuff in. Justify right now, James. Interesting. Where have they all gone? Yeah, they are just gone. Because we are out looking for them. Okay. Yep, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, they used to go down pretty, pretty easy. Now what do we do with this guy? You go up to it and hold F, so it follows you. Huh, cool. Best get a new computer. And then well, we bring it home. It would be most of a computer. Look at how cute. Yeah. Oh, that's a whole different height, isn't it? What way do you think? That we way? We could go down this way a little bit farther and see if there's another one. They like to hang yep. out around the water. Hmm. Did you get one? Yeah. Yep. Keep the wolf out. Hopefully it will. It better. <laughs> oh. Can can they have backpacks that I can put all my crap in them and carry more? Yeah. <laughs> that's what Really? The, yeah, that's what the buffaloes are for. You can have awesome. a whole caravan of them apparently. That's amazing. I don't know exactly how it works, but that's the dealio. Yeah, I've no, I've built whole computers. I last time I did it, I think I this one I'm using now. I spent more than three grand on, so it's fine. I can't I can't really justify upgrading because this is only the last generation. I was tempted with the forty nineties because even though the thirty nineties great, I still I still hit its limits. In my problem is I play all these unoptimized games, so it's always <laughs> been the case, like Minecraft and Ark and everything. I'm always trying to get the latest and the greatest hardware so I can run these games. <laughs> okay, the other buffaloes are back. I see. Are they? Cool. Yep. I think. No. Oh, that's bushes. That's not fair. They look like buffaloes. <laughs> Aish. What were they? Komodos? Bushes? Bushes. <laughs> <laughs> and rocks. No, oh, oh. Is that... Is there more bushes? Is there more rocks? It's getting late for Lai. Starting no. to think all the plants are animals. Flowers are wolves and bushes so are buffaloes. It's just a big blob. Bushes are buffaloes. The flowers are wolves, so... That's right. Well, there's tons of Komodos. I don't need the Komodos. So we have a kitchen now. No, oh, sweet. Yay! With water. You are just going at Can light speed. we have speed. skinning bench? Uh, take a quick break. We'll that's, cr that's Cracker's job. Yeah, where's Crackers? She's working too much. Oh, man. She only has time to play Wordle. <laughs> yeah, she's been MIA ever since she 
Got her new job. New jobs are tough sometimes. Mm-hmm. They don't generally give you time off for gaming. No. Rude. No. <laughs> she wouldn't necessarily set things on fire, Sir Garwin. We didn't give her an actual campfire to walk over. Oh my gosh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? What is that? Ah. Skinning patch? We don't have one. I guess that was Cracker's job. She was always the one who made the skinny bench. Oh no! Are you being attacked? Nope, there's a cougar and I'm afraid it's gonna eat my... I... My cute little... Friend here. <laughs> Did you get around it? Yeah, I killed it. Good. Alright, we have a modest pen here. Should have room for a couple of <laughs> Tamed by nobody. <laughs> that who it says? Tamed by nobody. Oh, you got to claim ownership. Okay, so, so it can only be Hume one person? Yumiya and Cube. You can uh, you can still, like, you can ride a more that has been claimed by somebody else, but um, you can't instruct it to to follow you. Uh, oh. the owner can Well, Lai, you brought them home. Oh, you named them? No, they were named already. I oh, think wow. they automatically get a, a name. Yeah, they get a sort of a random name, but you can rename them. Make them whatever you want. Alright, well, I've got saddles. There's a saddle on that one. Come on, dude. There's a saddle on that one. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm fading. Those doors make a satisfying noise. Oh, yeah. Nice. What do you think, Lai? Can I claim a mower? Sure, go for it. Should I claim Coupe or Hamia? Whatever you want. You want the boy or the girl? Are they... Do they, have, do they have gender or sex? Well... Humia is, well, more of a girl's name, isn't it? I guess so. Though I'm not judging, uh, but... Uh, Claim her. Oh, I get to give a new name. Alright, who wants to be a MOA? It's a girl, so I can't name her Sir Garwin, sadly. Lady Garvin. Lady Garwin? <laughs> I don't know... Maybe she wants to identify as a male. Maybe. Yep. Although, I don't know if I should name her after a viewer because, uh... I don't know if any of my viewers want me writing them. <laughs> Let's just keep... Yeah. <laughs> or, or Lady for G? <laughs> That's, uh, it would be quite presumptuous. Okay, look at me go. Woo. Here we go. Can we get out of here? Oh, yeah! 
Oh, that's pretty quick. Actually. Look at me go. Okay, that looks hilarious because <laughs> she was not her legs were not moving. So just was just skating around. <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty sway, fast. We can sway from side to side. Go backwards why, slowly. Why am I getting um <laughs> It's doing the moonwalk Star Wars vibes? <laughs> mew, mew. Mew. Oh that would be really terrible. I have to like cut it open and hide inside of it. <laughs> okay, they're they're racers. I think you can outrun anything in that. It is uh, that. when you get the chance it is pretty cool to don the Wayfarer armor and then go to the desert. It's so Luke Skywalker. Oh yeah? <laughs> that required platinum weave. It did. It does. Which... We can... It's there like, should be plenty of platinum in the mines around, so... Oh, and now we've got a buffalo! <laughs> Looks like oh, a plucked turkey. Oh, can jump. It's a really weird jump. Whoop! Bloop! Bloop! <laughs> okay, you need to, to come out so he's on the other side of the, the wall. Oh, Bloop. there he comes. Bloop. It just takes a minute. You gotta get far enough away from him and then he'll, like, run to you. <laughs> oh, oh, look at him getting a depleted. drink. How cute. Yeah. Very cute. What do you need to and do you when it's, press uh... press F and say stop following. Oh, yeah. How do I get off of it? Nope. Where's it going? There we go. Let's put these in here. Uh, I can hold two slots of cargo. Oh, how cute. Does it, I have to feed it? I don't see I a hunger. I guess it's go for the... I don't see a hunger thing on it. Should have a little, um... Like a, I, I want to rub his belly. I know, look at him just <laughs> yeah. lay or take a little nap. It doesn't hold yeah. still, it's like all over oh. the place. Where are you trying to go? You almost just want to lay down with him and just, you know. <laughs> take a nap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's got weight. Oh, no, that's me. Hey! It really won't hold still. <laughs> it's supposed to be following. Still on passive. How do I? Oh, stay. No. Okay. Yeah, it's on stay. Um. There's a weight bar. No oh, stats. Health. Wait. Keep going. Can't tell which is which. Is it following now? I guess there's one way to find out. Let's see. Are you following me? Oh, there's Komodo. It is following me. Okay. Hell, oh, there is food and water. I see it now. Let's go get it back to the trough. I'm assuming I can put food on it. When we messed around with them, you couldn't. Um, like, they wouldn't. They'd have food on in the saddle, but then starve to death. But I think they changed that. I think. I think you're supposed to be able to feed them by hand now as well. It fixed my cam. It looks like I'm cramped. I think I was just leaning over. It fixed my posture is what you mean. I need to maybe make a crop plot. 
Does it does its weight limit include my weight as well? I would assume so. But who knows? Let's see. Let's make. Crop plots, maybe? Iron crop plot. Iron and sulfur. Yeah, I think I understood. Oh, there's sulfur. Chris is here. <laughs> <laughs> that I got. My pasta was fine. <laughs> Don't say pasta, you're gonna make me hungry. Too late. My pasta posture. I can make one crop plot. And then we'll need more iron. It's a juncture right there in the water. Maybe steal a little water for it. What's the next juncture? Right there. Huh? Can maybe get the water to here. Let's put this down. Oh. Uh, oh dang, I've got the water tool. Should have put it back in the bench. I can do it with my, uh, my watering can, I think. Can I? No. I thought there was a way to water it with your watering can. Oh, here it is, yeah. I can. Fingers. Yeah, right click. Oh, okay, let's go grab a pumpkin. Then we'll need to grab some more iron. <laughs> Maybe a little monkey puzzle patches. Made to put on my beanies. Oh, that would be cool. Those would be a lot easier and cheaper than whole hats. I think that's a great idea, Jay. Here's watermelon. I'll probably eat watermelon. Uh, pumpkin. It feels more filling to me. Yeah, they're a whole lot easier to mail, too. Yeah, you can put one in an envelope. Well, the reason I didn't do the hats yet is because the place I got this from uh, doesn't do, like, merch, right? Like, 
I wouldn't want to be responsible for like getting them and shipping them out and everything like that. Because there's places that uh, will do it where people, if they want merch, they can just order it directly and they handle everything. Mm. So, I found one that will do it, but um, I would need to order another hat from them to test it to make sure it's okay. And uh, it's just around to it. Weather? Oh, wow, we got a second wheel over there. Wow, they're going opposite directions. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I should probably go and fix that at some point. Nah. I saw pumpkins everywhere when I wasn't picking them. Now where are they? Uh, I just I, need... I just need the pumpkins the, a lot uh, west of the river? Or the, the lake, sorry. West of the lake, that would be about where I'm at. Ooh. Oh, here's a pumpkin. Old rocks? Pumpkin plus one. Seriously? Yeah, there's like print on demand sites. You just have to supply the artwork, you know. Get the prototype, proof the prototype, and then, uh, and then people can just order them from them. It's amazing what they can do lately. Mm. You get the um, the embroidered stuff. That's really good. Yeah, I've got a a cap, a, a baseball cap. I got my logo embroidered on, but it's one of a kind right now. Um, but it was pretty neat. I, all I had to do was send them a picture, and they had an app where you could see right there on their website that you could see like them transform the picture into a uh, into an embroidery pattern. Oh wow! Nice. All right. Hmm. Yeah, the coding for that must be kind of tricky. The what? I was uh, just thinking the coding for that must be kind of tr tricky, kind of translating pixels into stitch actual stitches. Hmm. Yeah, and then they basically could just uh, make one on demand. Like they have a embroidery machine that can embroider from the pattern that this app made from the uh, uh, from the picture from the image. Yeah, it's quite it's quite subtle. Yeah, it's like, wow, 21st century stuff. Where are we putting our stone nowadays? I put it in the stone bench. Yeah. That makes I was, sense. I was just thinking she'd probably think about sorting out some storage. Probably, like, shuffling things around Ooh. so they make a little more sense. And I found a cave you haven't been in yet. Uh, never mind. Me too. There's a hole in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I found the cave that you've been in. You haven't been in. Uh, never mind. Yep. <laughs> um, I, I don't think... Oh, the, yeah, that one... Um, I barely touched because I was just after ah. some aluminum. So there are, there's tons of stuff in there. Where are you trying to go, Amia? Uh, let's see, let's put it on stay. I think it's on stay now. Why are you going right by the gate? Uh -uh. Come over here. Okay. 
Come on. Well, we have one pumpkin growing. <laughs> I'll need more iron for more. I think. Oh, that's a little iron in here. Steal some of this. Oh, come Weather. on. Really? Weather is coming. This is cool. Oh, it's dropping charcoal and it's got the box of yeah. ores and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I really like some of the new models. Yeah, they really definitely spent some time on the uh, art design. Oh, do I wait? Uh, yeah. That's There's a bunch in one of the crates. Yeah, you definitely got, got that handle. Um, did I just put it in the wrong place? That's what I did. Let's make some room. Ooh, I may have made a lot of screws. <laughs> Oops. We'll use them eventually for something. Okay, glitch. <laughs> Got like a thousand screws. <laughs> I was planning for the future. Uh -huh. It may be sleepy time. Needs are going. Oh, you mean in game? I'm thinking RRL. <laughs> I've been playing for a while now. Oh, five hours. Not that bad. But um, my lack of sleep last night is catching up with me. Well, that's what happens when you're playing with servers all night. Oh my god, our <laughs> omniscient narrator has showed up. <laughs> How's it going? What's up, Sinister? It's, it's uh, wet. That way, the opposite of down, yes. Uh, thank you for that answer. I knew you were omniscient. It's wet, it's cold. Yes. Water's wet, sky's blue. I was told that water can't actually be wet, that it can only get other things wet. Yep, I found a bear. Help. Really? <laughs> Logistically, oh. that's probably true, but... Do fish Aha, think you're wet? I killed it. it. Do fish think? That's... I have no idea. Can't count uh, cephalopods. They're not fish. Nope. Water can't actually be wet. What have I turned into? <laughs> you have tuned into yeah. the science channel here. Well, or I guess pseudo science that's channel would be more. more accurate, probably. Yeah. Or <laughs> I guess it's more of a matter of philosophy. It, it, you can't step on the same piece of water twice. That's right. Hello, Pharrell. You ever play Icarus, Pharrell? What about you, Sinister? Do you ever play Icarus? This torch will not stay lit. Why are you it. going to be in trouble? Because Who's in trouble? Because I'm unconscious again. <laughs> oh. That means you didn't do it. Ex exposure. It couldn't have been me. Uh, yep, that'll do. I was unconscious. Yep. 
So help somebody, anybody. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm so far away. I will be your white you knight again. Wait until the storm is over. Uh, almost. Not yet. Still unsure if it's something you would enjoy. You may never know. All right, what's taking damage? Me. <laughs> no, I think the uh, something. Something out here. Where is my hammer? I've lost my hammer. Yeah. If I had a hammer, there'd be no more folk singers. Right? Yeah. Oh, Chris, you need an update to your weapons. Yeah. I have the, um. I don't. Some. One of the loadout ones, but. I was saving that for platinum, but there's no platinum in here. Okay. That's neither wet or dry that you can drown in. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Let me think about that one for a minute. Is alcohol wet? Uh. No. It's definitely. I mean, generally, if some well, turn all the sugar... it is a solution, contrary to what some groups will tell you, but... Uh, but if you turn all the sugar to alcohol, you call it dry. Yes. I don't know what was taking damage. Something was. If it's philosophical we're going for, then you could drown in sorrow, which is neither wet nor dry. Right. I was gonna say grief, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is taking a lovely turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly drowned, but suffocate. Grandma's hugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or if someone, someone's... Especially when you're a kid. You had to go there, didn't you? If someone's too clingy, they're definitely suffocating. Yeah. Well, in oh. the same instance, you could drown in affection. You could... Quicksand. Quicksand's wet. It's, it's wet. Like, mm, it's it's kind of wet and kind of not. Well, it's definitely wet sand. Mm, Non-Newtonian fluid. Yes. Yes. Non-Newtonian. No, quicksand is like water that's wet to a certain extent that... It's land that's wet no, to a certain extent. It's land? It's not sand? Yes. No. Well. Silt also oh. qualifies as... Uh, I'm on pasture. I'm that kind of material. Where'd you go? Alright. Did you get saved yet, Lai? No. Uh, Alright. I Not quite. I to run past oh, almost uh, I there. I think I'm just ahead of you somewhere. He's coming. There's someone in these trees. I can see it happening. Right about there. Oh, yeah, I, I see it. Yeah, I wish they had the... They put the markers mm. a little closer. Thank you. Special little markers, one that says, We have a teammate down over here. <laughs> Why isn't this going? Do you ever play this, uh, Sinister? No, but I've watched it. I've looked into it a couple of times. It looks interesting. Pretty fun. Yeah, it's, um... I enjoy it. It definitely has its limits, and it's definitely got its jank. Yeah. What game does it? Just it is a sink, but, you know, most of the games are. Yes. Uh, where's home again? But, you know, it's another game that you can, um, play Homemaker mm -hmm. in. <laughs> Blue Marker. Yep. Clock. 
colliding, but don't mess up my little row here. Yamoto Wolf. Let's start it. I heard oh, uh, the joke the other day about uh, terraform it. I don't know if I can say it on the stream. Oh, wait, he was? Um, there is a thing about experimental land deformation in the options, but I don't know how that, how you trigger it. Mm. Let's go like that. I was definitely hoping for that. My ideal game like this also has land deformation. Yeah, locks home mechanics. You can make quicksand at home by vibrating it. Yes, that would work for sure. What are you doing up there, G-Con? Water to the glass looking bench. Oh. Look at you go. Yo, so now you can have reinforced glass pieces for a greenhouse. Oh my goodness. Mm. Um, can we hook up these, uh, do we have enough water to hook these up here? There's a junction right here. Oops, that didn't connect. Try that again. There we go. Uh, it's not, I lost the crop pots. Where are they? I think oh, you have right to put there. like a junction just outside and then connect to each one from the junction. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> Well, it's dark. It's quite dark. Should be sleepy time again. Right, so... Alright, so that one's connected to that. One. They're just temporary. I'll be able to pick them up. So how long have you guys been at this? Uh, let me see. About four hours and 45 minutes, although the stream has gone five and a half because I spent the first 45 minutes teaching people how to set up the server. Ah, yes. So we started with a little tutorial. This oh, was shame. actually my first ever sponsored stream. The server host uh, gave me a little bit of pocket change to... Um, to two hour stream where I showed people how to uh, set up the server. Ah. And which server host would that be? C Portal. Ah. See, it helps if you if you plug them. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well, I, I did that for two hours. I even had a little oh, logo, okay. logo up. <laughs> we are now no longer in the sponsored portion of the stream. Oh, okay. Uh, but Does that mean I can I can get rid of some of my good manners then? <laughs> <laughs> well, we still you know we still have because our... I saw a sponsored stream and I thought hmm I think I would better <laughs> you know behave myself. Well, what are we chump change? Uh, you gotta. No, no, no! I just don't want to offend anyone who's uh corporate entity, shall we say? <laughs> They have much better lawyers than I do. 
I've seen some people do streams for them, and it seems pretty casual. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine was actually more professional than some I've seen. Mm. Um, but, you know, we have our own standards for ourselves. Oh, okay. We have standards? It's sinister. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this is, nobody told me this. <laughs> News to me. They're pretty low, but they exist. <laughs> it's not a high bar. You think G Portal knows what their user base is? He's a bunch of the gamers, man. Oh my god. Is so Sinister jumping in? He says he's never played it before, so. I, I do I not have the game, so I will not be joining. I will be there in spirit, shall we say. Sinister is, like I said, he's the omniscient narrator. He speaks from above. Um, I am going to go soon, guys, but I'm going to. Um, before I go, I'm actually going to let my dog outside. He hasn't gone out for a minute. I'll be right back. Right, right. But uh, folks can still hear you, so uh, tell jokes and stuff. <laughs> Anybody got any good ones? Uh, that are like uh, PG-13 or something, <laughs> you know? I've got one yeah. that... Um, you have actually, to go walk the dog, actually, sir. I, well, <laughs> before I do... It's actually not offensive, although it sounds like it's going to be. It's, um, uh, what do you call a doctor for a trans man? No idea. A gynecologist. Uh. <laughs> be right back. Yeah, I'd run away too after that one. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be, you know... A doctor that, you know, deal with guy things. They're, they're specialists. <laughs> and a hush falls over the room. Thud! Mm -hmm. I can't like remember what it was. If it was Monkey Puzzle or Rally. But they just left me alone. <laughs> so it's just like, what? Oh, just entertain people. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, why? <laughs> Are we gonna do the sleepy sleep? Or. Uh, one monkey away, so okay. can't sleep until he comes back. Yeah. It's all your fault, monkey. And get behind that. Where's Raleigh? Couldn't he make it this evening, or...? He's watching hockey. Ah. He's at a hockey match. So, uh, no, he couldn't. Oh, I does, he, does he even do Icarus? I'm not sure. I think he might, but I'm not positive. I think if he has, it's been oh, like no, maybe once or twice ages ago. Flower, which means we have bread. Nice. Yes, we have bread, but we have no ducks. And we'd be better off feeding the wheat grain to the ducks than the bread. Saw somebody who made um, a knockoff of a Pikachu. Oh, yeah. They called it a cross-dressing duck. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone told.
told me uh, works at a veterinary hospital. Someone mm -hmm. brought in a, a blue pit bull who was blue. dressed. Yes. It's, uh, it's oh, a, like gray? a, a subbreed. Yeah, they, they called them blue. Yeah. They're kind of gray. Yeah. And uh, apparently it was dressed as a duck. <laughs> as, as a rubber duck because it had a raincoat and a little hat that looked like a duck. I'm sorry, I would have done that too. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that would be so cute. Alright, what are you guys up to? Ducks. Want to sleep? Ducks? Ducks. Duck, duck, goose? <laughs> Get them in the room. Already. So we need more iron. Uh, Always. Uh, going... It's in the furnace. Woohoo! Chris oh, is here. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, have we met? It needs uh, some fuel. Uh, Your robot vacuum is called Ducky? You put googly eyes on it? <laughs> I keep a packet of various size googly eyes. Yeah, with me in my in my kit when I go out and about because you never know you'll see the opportune moment to but creatively vandalize yeah. a poster. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty soft vandalism, I'd say. Yeah. For the finest in urban terrorism. Yes. Have you seen the uh, meme with the where it's a big tree where they have this giant googly eyes on it? Um, I haven't seen the one with googly eyes, but somebody put reflectors on one that oh, were yeah. red that around the bend, and it's like this old twisted willow tree or something. You know? yeah. <laughs> Whoever did that is a genius, and uh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully they're in hiding. <laughs> did we ever make a skidding bench? I don't think so, no. I have a dead thing. <laughs> what are you, a cat? Um, Look, I brought you a dead thing. Yeah, I'm a cat who brought a dog in. My cat brings not dead things in and lets them go. Down. My cat yeah. in introduces mice to the house. <laughs> do, 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 you, do you keep other small pets? Uh, I have a cat. Uh, well, two dogs now, and and a, and a snake. Ah. Oh no. Oh yes. Ooh, what kind of snake? Uh, a I ball python. Yeah, I think I have asked you asked you that before. I had an Indian python. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's past tense. Oh no, he's still alive and oh, okay. whatnot. He's doing well. He's uh with a friend of mine. Oh cool. Who also keeps tropical birds. Wow. Yeah. Cat only plays with bugs if they are unfortunate enough to come in. <laughs> Cats can be mean. They're... You do know why they bring, uh, bring animals in, right? Yes, because For you're me. a lousy hunter. You don't yeah. know how to cat. <laughs> you don't know how to cat properly. They think you're just a a really dumb cat. So they bring yep. you stuff in. So they're here. I brought you this. <laughs> You're terrible. I think that's so amazing. <laughs> oh, look at G-Con at work here. You making the I roundhouse? Think, do you still want the roundhouse? Sure. Maybe, uh, actually, where do you want the roundhouse? Let's put it that way. Uh, well, it looks like you got a good start here. Yeah, I, I, this is, I just wanted it on the edge where there's a view, and this is, this is worked just fine. You know what? Um, yeah. Uh, dude. Uh, actually, maybe I should do this with a few more. I don't think your your thing can get to. Okay, fine. The food. Yeah. Give me a second. I know. I was wondering why he wasn't. He says no food. There we go. There we go. I'll make you a uh, 
saddlebag for it, Chris. Hey, stay in there. <laughs> yes, that'd be great. Random dead wolf in the middle of the base. <laughs> <laughs> there was the, no uh, skinning bench. What am I supposed to do? Large flightless birds are new. So are the bison. Yeah. And yep. there's like Man. parrots and Komodos and alligators. Oh, always lovely. Like parrot as a pet. What's it doing? Oh, yeah. Which bench was it in? It was in this one. Parrots. Advanced parrots textiles. are a lifetime uh, thing. Mm -hmm. There's a good possibility that, right, depending on when you get them, they may outlive you. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do we have uh, platinum? Uh, there should be some left. Where is it? There's some cooking. Okay. Do we have a machine bench somewhere? There. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. upstairs. Somebody was standing right in front of it. We have all the things. Uh. Okay. Do the stuffs. This and this makes this. Platinum weave. You get just one per? Yeah. And it takes... Okay, it takes four. We'll get there. And now we need to make cured leather. Where do you get that? Well, you find a sick animal and then you... <laughs> <laughs> Cure it and then you kill oh, it. Oh, I couldn't help it. It was there. Maybe in the, the bench below it? Right? No. It's not in there? Do we have uh, aluminium somewhere? Uh, in my inventory. Bauxite. Get your bauxite. Um, you can't search in the tech tree, can you? What? I want to search, search for search where for cured leather is made. It's, uh, it's the drying rack. Oh. Uh, you need tree sap and leather. Okay. No, look at that. Well, it's not really cured, it's resin infused. Okay. Ice boxes, look at that. Wow, you, you even have ice in them. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm getting into trouble. No. Mistake. You are a Me cyclone. Too. Gee, Con. Vegetables in the Alligators and Komodo dragons. Like bears weren't enough. Right? Yeah. And wolfies. Hey, give it all. Yeah, Boudreau. Why is that log winking at me? Oh, they. I need to make. They handle so nice. The mowers? Yeah. Wait, why couldn't uh, Conan make their animals like this? There's the, there's that one saddle. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's with a K. Cardovian or something that um, makes them handle better if you make that saddle. Uh, have you have you tried jumping on your mower? It's weird. I did. <laughs> it's fun. 
It's just, it's like it's missing a few ana steps in the animation. Mm. Like it's up and it's down. Okay, we needed corn. Is there anything yeah. else I should look for while I'm out and about? Uh, everything. Pharrell says, if I understood it correctly, those things you were building now are not permanent. They actually are. We're playing on an open world. And open worlds are permanent as long as you keep them anyway. Until you decide they're too laggy and you they kill are it. Persistent. Yes. So we are in a persistent world that will be here as long as we want. Um, the downside of it is that we do not. Um, we don't. Well, we actually get missions, but we don't earn money here. Uh, so nothing that really goes towards your career total. Well, you use the money to get workshop items, but I don't know. There's nothing really in the workshop that you can't just make for yourself. Yeah. Um, so or equivalent thereof in world, but it's you just have to grind for it is all. Yeah, yeah. and. It's, the workshop items are for when you just want to drop in and do missions and get out. You don't have to do a whole lot of crafting. You just have these, like, pre-made things yeah. that you come down with. Um, that's going to take 30 seconds each. What? Do well, I need whatever one? shall we do with the time? Yeah. Possible exception that is the Larkwell Bowl. Uh, the witch? The Larkwell uh, Martinez bow, um, because if memory serves, it's the one thing from the workshop that you cannot craft in world um, something better. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that you can have every buff or perk that's on the workshop stuff per se, but you know, you can make decent bows oh, sure. in the world. Yeah. You you don't get the, the buffs, but if you make, you know, like a, a Platinum or a Titanium Pickaxe, it's technically better than the Workshop ones, and we are slower. Yeah. Because um, otherwise, nobody would craft anything on planet. they just bring down the tools and right. keep using those. Um, and we don't yeah, get uh, um, exotics here either, so we don't earn Rocket Bucks, and we don't earn exotics. Um, oh, but you can play as long as you want. This, these worlds were actually sort of a compromise. They were not going to do these at all because it was against their vision. Yeah. Um, and uh, instead, uh, they finally relented. Cause, but it's kind of a mixed bag because I think the session-based thing, the impermanence, was kind of the one real unique thing yeah. they were doing. It was their USP. Um, and they're still doing it, but you don't have to do that now. Because a lot of people really didn't like that. We did a whole bunch of missions, though, for a while until I finally got tired of it. But uh, we were the crazy ones. Like, generally, the incentive for most people was to craft as little as possible to get the mission done. And whereas we, like, got to the top tier tech every time because <laughs> we had Chris and G-Con. <laughs> And, and the rest of us, and we're just crazy. And I would build, like, ten-story skyscrapers out of concrete and glass and stuff for a one-week mission, you know? <laughs> it was cool. I made a lot of builds that way that I wouldn't have otherwise. Every group has their professional lodgy farmer type people. Yeah, well, almost our whole crew is used to, like, really grindy yeah. games, you know, and so we like early game, and we'd come in and, like, harvest, like, mad and build things, and, you know, and then the fact that I'm a YouTuber made me feel a little bit more permanence to the stuff, because even though we had to leave them, I, you know, I had a showcase left to prove that, you know, we were there. Yeah. Monkey being the human 3D printer for buildings. 
<laughs> think what a part of the what can both be a good thing and a bad thing is that like it feels very it's the same like you're doing the same thing over and over again kind of thing yeah you're in the same spot and you're doing the same thing and you just so like you do get up in levels but you don't feel like you progress a lot all right tamed by miss chris frank <laughs> uh-oh frank let, the tank you, you let the moza oh no they're very uh persnickety like that they're like come back in all right I have stream's not one. done till i can ride your your buffalo once I gotta get a saddle. I'm working on oh, it. That, that oh, there is a crocodile so in the middle of everything. Although, I'm not sure if this thing will allow us to ride it, or it'll just be a pack beast. We'll find out. I can make a saddle um, If you have the uh, pack thing in its uh, saddle inventory, it will only be for meal. But okay. I guess you could take it out and then ride it. Well, let's make another saddle. I think they're pretty funny. Where I mean, the Moas are pretty funny, too. I don't want to be kicked by one, that's all. Well, oh, don't, yeah. don't make it mad. No, definitely not. You gotta be polite to it. Alright, there's the buffalo pack harness. There's another crocodile. Has anyone ever uh, seen those videos of that lady in Australia with the ostrich? No. There's a series of videos. She's been trying to do TikToks because she's a neurologist and stuff. And the ostrich continually comes up and interrupts her videos. <laughs> nice. Good or bad? It's funny, but terrible. Wait, didn't we just have severe wins? Like, 30 seconds ago? Uh, no, we're still in it. Oh, Re right, register no, a complaint. Okay. I I wanted it to another biome briefly. That's what it was. Frank, get back here. I just wanted to go for a ride. <laughs> oh, they can gallop! Look at that. Man, he's pretty zippy. Yeah, it's using stamina, but uh, he needed to book it. Cute and compact. <laughs> yeah, they're very round. They're kind of bulbous. Round and bulbous, said the mascara snake. That's no, Captain that's a tree. <laughs> that's Captain Beefheart. Where are you going, buddy? In here. Um, okay, you can do so it like that, don't you? Alright, hey, come here. I, I think you and I are probably the only people to know who Captain Beefheart is. I expected you would. I yeah. am so not surprised. <laughs> what is What is it? I might know it. Oh, he was just sort of a performance artist, musician. Yeah. Um, oh, I put the tiny. saddlebag in it, but I don't think that's the right thing. Um, I think it has to go in the saddle slot. Hold still, buddy. Uh, stats. Said, uh, inside a team's buffalo's inventory. Yeah, I think it has to go. I'm thinking this probably has to go in the. Uh, oh, did he drop it? You have to have a saddle to be able to do the inventory. Oh. Uh, yes, at this time, I would like to issue a warning to all the viewers. Uh, this is a video game. Please do not approach wild bison. <laughs> no, that's generally uh, bad not a great plan. Right. Bad plan. Um, the cargo saddle disappeared. So, a lesson I learned. Don't take oh. the saddle off with inventory in it, because the inventory disappears. Okay, so he has oh, no. like oh, five. Yeah. So we lost the cargo saddle. I hope it wasn't that's important. So Oh, well, it's just four pieces of platinum lost. <laughs> um, 
and um, ten cured leather. Oh God! Well, I'm I'm bringing some more platinum ore back. So okay. Okay, so but with those the basic riding saddle gives two mount cargo slots. Yeah, this is the basic riding saddle. They really don't hold still, man. <laughs> no. Another reason to have the enclosure. Alright. Uh, we're just short. Okay, we've got all the cured leather again. Now I just need to make uh, four platinum weave again. See if I can find four, in, four uh, platinum somewhere. In, in, in the booth. And there is uh, corn in the uh, in the fridge. Oh, cool! It's got the juice. It's got the juice. That reference, I don't know. It's uh, it's a meme song that someone made from a video. Yeah. Um, I guess there's no more platinum here. What's this? The alteration bench. Wow. We've come so far. So quickly. We might be need to make the alterations for pickaxes. Well, anyway, as soon as we have four platinum again, we can make four platinum weave again, and then we can, um, uh, we can, uh, figure that out. I think it has to go in the saddle slot. You can't access sure. the mount's inventory if you don't have a saddle on it. Well, I was able to access it to put the saddle on. Okay, well, we'll try. I'm sorry, I'm just giggling like a maniac from the pictures of things with <laughs> googly eyes on them. <laughs> Is that what you're, what you're doing right now? You totally would do the fridge. The kitten is killing me, man. It really is. <laughs> uh oh, did he get outside? Hey, and hey, I've done hey. the refrigerator gag. Uh, Will you put good. the googly eyes on the refrigerator? The no, on all the items inside. Oh. Yes. It's more effective if you get little pieces of felt and glue them. Uh, in, in various positions over the eyes. Oh, so like <laughs> some of the things that eyes. may be slightly or nearing being out of date could be very, very upset with you. <laughs> My God, Ooh. that's pretty funny. Oh, there's extra buffaloes. Extra? Never. <laughs> okay, there's more. What there's actually buffaloes buffalo down here this time. Ow. I can't, I can't, uh, harvest. Oh, can I? I think I have a harvest left in it. Everything okay. down there is all alarmed and running away. Yeah. I never, yeah, I never put googly eyes all over, uh, everything in the fridge. The closest, uh, okay, so in the, my baby, dorm, though? we always thought it was the funniest thing to... Label everything with a sharpie with its name. Yes. Like door, you'd write door. Yes. Watering fountain, the watering, so on. Or you get those little label makers and do it that way. <laughs> Better. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my god, you made a lot of screws. Uh, don't yeah, label that was my that was my whoops. Then you're not I got it accused right. of. Uh, being glitch sniffer. <laughs> That's usually his job. Yes, it is. Okay, what is on me? Hey, would you stand still? Ow! Yes, ma'am. Now, the Platinum Weave makes in just a few seconds. You know, I'd have been fine if Lai hadn't tagged me in those. <laughs> 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 I 
I had to make sure you saw them. Are they in the in the Discord or something? Yeah, an off topic. Oh my god. <laughs> Wolf. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? <laughs> the bush. Uh... I like the bush. Big but bush. The, the portrait eyes. of the kitten is just doing my head in, man. <laughs> All right, I have to show the stream now. <laughs> uh, there is some topic. craft YouTubers I know. They put googly eyes on their machines. Yes. Um, so when they shake and stuff, uh, <laughs> the All eyes right. go nuts. There's the bush. <laughs> now, to be fair, those aren't real googly eyes. Those look like plates inside of a platter. It is plates, but you know. Yeah. But yeah, it's the same effect. And the uh, this is the uh, the kitten. You guys are gonna like the kitten. <laughs> the kitten is the best. <laughs> Just wrong. Man. St it still looks very kitten. Is that's the funny thing? <laughs> you know, that's, what, that's what bothers me. And then uh, this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's kind of small. Giving them ideas. <laughs> The ultimate in urban terrorism is next. Even each egg has googly eyes. <laughs> the salsa has googly eyes. Imagine if you opened it and you had no idea. <laughs> You'd be like, what? Um, oh. can, can anybody come save me, please? <laughs> it's becoming a habit. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See where Batman, it's the lie signal. I'm down by uh, I'm down Ooh. by the lake, and there should be uh, an orphan rhino, uh, buffalo nearby. Orphan buffalo, what? Because you, its mama is dead. What killed you? <laughs> no comment. Uh, a wolf. She's just trying to make us feel like heroes. Does that come with? A cape and tights. I'm <laughs> waiting for her to issue those, yeah. Yeah, see the buffalo. Oh my, she's over here. I'm by a big rock. Oh, you're by the rock near the tree? <laughs> I don't know. I see somebody just running past me. That's two. That's two of us. Oh, I got you. There's somebody else. Thank you. All right, there's the Komodo over here if you'd like to die again. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, it sees you. Here it comes. I gotta watch. Go away, go away, go away. I don't like you. Go away. I got a great view for this. Get her, Komodo. Go. Oh, yeah. He's got your number. How do they bite me when they don't even turn around? Oh, here comes the other one. Is that enough warning for you to stay away? Can't you see what I did to your mate? Gone. Buffalo are not really Excuse this aggressive, me, where did the are buffalo they? go? Oh, there you are. Can you get up here? No. Yeah, that's pretty funny, can right? You, can you get up here? Yes, you could. Good. Well, um, you all have fun. Thank you for the googly-eyed cat. And uh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Your own personal googly-eyed uh, cat. Why? Yeah. Why are you in the house? No, no, no! You don't go out there. Stop it. 
Who are you disciplining? Well, you just. Well, it's not me. Uh, that's too bad. <laughs> I'm trying to get the other buffalo inside, but it's inside the house. And and then this one just ran away. <laughs> so I was like, no, don't oh, do that. Do that. Get back here. Well, you just. Where are you going, Frank? Seriously. <laughs> okay, it's following me, but it's stuck. I'll see you, Mr. Sinister. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, we'll see you all later. I'm going to run off and uh, do some Valheim stuff with uh, Neo Cryptor and uh, company. Okay. We'll see you all later. Have fun. See ya. Close the door. All right, now how do I get out? <laughs> <laughs> you need a, 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 another door or something. I bet I can't climb like in Conan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need an airlock. They're very, very disobedient creatures. They are very interested in running away. Yeah. Or exploring the world, whatever you want. They're like, you're not my boss. Uh, what am I missing? Fiber? More fiber. Nine fiber. And we can be done. Well, who's got nine fiber? Ah, uh, some fiber? Where are you? Um, that's seven. It just needs to go up in the, uh, advanced textile. Here. Uh, where, the what? Who is it? The event, the oh, advanced right. textile. Keep it There we go. One. More platinum weave. And then here is the next buffalo pack harness. They look kind of like a tardigrade in the picture. Yeah, see that's a f it's a six-legged tardigrade. All right. This time I will take uh the saddle off first. Oop. And then this Yep, it goes in the saddle slot. Okay. And now Oh, it's got a whole bunch of slots. All right, you got your pack mule, Miss Chris. Sweet, I need it. Um, I'm way overburdened. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't get it to. Uh, where are you? Um, oh, you're over there. Here, I'm in I'll, a cave. I'll bring you your buffalo. <laughs> Hey, stay inside. Where'd it go? It's not like I want an excuse to ride it or anything. <laughs> What's up, Dirk? You're back. Best wishes from the Dominican Republic. How are you, man? These are so goofy. <laughs> He's getting all bounced around. Hit a rock. Run in the right direction. Yes, we are.
They have, it seems like they have a weight limit, but they got a lot of slots. Let's see how this works out. After this, I'll need another bio break. It would certainly be shaking things up, wouldn't it? Hey. They have a mind of their own, man. Yeah, you have to get used to it. Also, the uh, bird has a lot of... Like, you can you can turn a lot without actually moving. So you can, like, look around a lot. It's funny, while I'm on the buffalo, I just ran over a Komodo, and it's not aggro at all. <laughs> it doesn't want to mess with the... Yeah. So what you gotta do... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Is, uh, you gotta take off the, uh, basic riding saddle, and then put that on. I'll put the saddle oh. in its inventory. And now okay. it's a pack beast. Nice. And I guess you just have it follow you. And you can, I think, get like whole trains of them. <laughs> He's basically full. And can he still move? Yep. He's got plenty of weight. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hey, no. <laughs> I didn't say it. You filled in the plank. Well, there was... A very clear first letter. At oh, far. <laughs> oh, f... <laughs> oh, f... <laughs> Oh, he does four. have plenty of weight. Yeah. Is he, is, he on, is he on stay right now? He's holding still. I wasn't sure. He didn't move. Yeah, he looks chill. All right, I'm going to leave him with you. Okay. You know, do you need help finishing in there? Um, If you want to, but I only have a couple more things, I think. Help. There's a uh, deep ore silica mine in here. We gotta somehow remember where all these are. Did you say help, Lai? Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Since you seem to be okay here, I'm gonna go. Okay. On that mission. What a handy beast. Alright, I like the mounts. I thought they were silly, the but I like them. What, the uh, buffalo? Yeah, and the moa. Oh, no. Ooh, sorry, guys. My internet upload for a minute there. Yeah. Well, at least we're not depending on you to host the uh, stream anymore. Yeah. You can, uh, your internet can poop out all at once. Do I get to resume? No, I don't. Okay. Um. Jeez. Oh, there we are. Okay, so it's listed. I'm coming. I was a little bit away. I'm not going anywhere, so don't hurry. <laughs> You're like, I'll be right here. <laughs> okay. Did you die again? No, she's not. No, I'm not unconscious. unconscious. Yeah, we're gonna have to do an intervention here, Lie. Sleeping. 
Turns out an axe doesn't work that well against walls. No. <laughs> Wait, you would you would think that it would be effective, but Oh, hi Wolf. This must be the one that killed you. Nope. No? Nope, I'm further away. Follow the lake, right? Are you spying on me from above? Ah, uh, from the left, sh uh, right shoulder, but you know. Oh, here's your wolf. You leave my friend alone. Gotcha. Oh no. I just crashed. Uh oh. There is a buffalo with a baby. If you can continue around the, the lake, if you. You have to get one. <laughs> there you are. Ooh, Says I can hold to revive. So you're alive now. Or up. Uh, crashed. It crashed. Uh oh. I am falling through the world. This is not good. Uh, maybe I should leave and rejoin. Oh, she's gone. Just trying to leave her a present. Oh, there we go. I don't want you, Komodo. Ah, uh, there's wolves. Oh yeah, there's the buffalo. Hey, 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 not your turn. Why are these Komodos so fast? My goodness. I was trying to get to the buffalo and I gotta kill and skin all these things. Here another one too. My goodness. You still after me? Well, I'm gonna come home with lots of meat and leather. Bone. Okay. Oh, there was that buffalo. Let's 
so dark though. I am in the dark in this cave and in the water and I can't find my way out. Oh no. That was a nightmare. Yeah. Oh you're okay. You don't have a torch? It burn out. No. Okay. Oh, here's... That's the baby, right? Okay, um, um, I might be a hot minute here. I've still got a broken leg. How do you get the juvenile to, uh... Go up to it and, uh, F. E. Well, I, I changed F mine. F me. I, ch I changed mine to E, because... Okay. It's hard to go back and forth. Oh, hey! Stupid crocodile. No. I feel like this is going out in a flash storm with a broken leg. It's a poor idea. Oh well. I think I just got that. Oh no, there's a crocodile. Hey, stay away from my baby buffalo. Oh no! Killed it! What a jerk! Killed by level oh. crocodile. Uh. No, I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> uh, that went wrong. Was that, was that your guy with the saddle? Do you get the saddle back? Huh? No, this was um a new baby I was about to bring home. Oh right. Yeah. I had him, but the cro a flaming crocodile killed him. The, the crocodile was literally flaming because it got hit by lightning. I um I just left the base and there was uh, mother and juvenile hanging out there. No, oh, okay. Well, I'm unconscious. So now Lai has to come oh, save me. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to... Is she uh, still in voice? Yeah. I'm preparing Ooh, geometry, so I'm loading in. Do your geometry homework. I'm uh, observing Miss Chris in the cave. It's kind of dark. It's not very interesting. <laughs> I can't... Uh... I can't figure out where I'm going. Uh, it looks like you're there's moving. the water. Oh crap! What happened? Oh, I'm still I spectating you. Okay, now I'm spectating Chikan. He doesn't have light either. Yeah, it's super dark. This is the blind I'm... leading blind leading the blind here. No, I was I was uh, saving the torch for the cave, uh, but I realized, of course, I could just pick up some stuff to make another one. Yeah, that'd be great. Lie, come save me. Me? I think I killed everything between you and me. Oh, you have light. Yeah, I'm so, looking so behind you. Kind of weird. Light. Where's the cave entrance? Jump the is lagging. It? Oh, there is one uh, half dead crocodile. This is a Komodo. I think that's it, is it? Yeah. Probably should have done that. Uh. Okay, it's around here somewhere. Did I go past? Oh, I went miles past. Jesus. Sorry, Miss Chris, I got a little disoriented in the dark and went flying past the cave entrance. Did you see the gift I left you, Why? Stop with the lagging, Jays. Oh, 
crack though. Now it's not the time. Oh, there we go. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I, I put the... Uh, Will you just... Why are you not... Ah! Huh. You got this. How was I right there? And I couldn't find this exit. <laughs> uh, is that here's a torch? Ah, thank you. That is amazing. You got this, Lai. Oh, yeah. Fierce hunter. <laughs> sure. It looked pretty, it looked, it looked pretty right. good while I spectated. Yeah, my bow wouldn't uh, wouldn't draw. Want to finish in the cave, or is it done? Or there's just a couple more back here that. Thank you. I could no longer Thank see. You. Why am I moving? What the heck? Whoa! What's happening? What does it look like I'm doing to you? Uh, you're oh, right running there, in a circle. Yeah. I know, but I'm not pushing any buttons. What's happening here? Um, try going to inventory now. No, that did it. How do you know that trick? Because I've had that bug a few times. So that crocodile, flaming crocodile. Uh, well, this is the mama. They killed the baby. Yeah, I don't have a skinning knife. Uh, I do. Boop. Why does that not work? No, that's the floor torch. Is that the gold? There's gold in here. Oh, nope, yeah, it's over here. So I had the baby following me, but then the flaming crocodile killed it. The jerk. Up here. What's up there? Make another torch. Mine's about to die. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> Mighty Joe's little legs. Polar XTA. Just set up an Icarus service then. Set up three of my own on Vault, but this is way cheaper. Thank you for using it, Polar. I hope it serves you well. Did you watch the beginning of the video? It had a whole, uh, uh, a whole little tutorial on it. Yeah, I appreciate you using the code. I'm glad it saved you a little bit of money. And it helps them to keep uh, giving us free servers. Maybe they'll sponsor me to do more tutorials on other servers. Definitely got a bit of experience on it. Oh, there's a crocodile. I'm going to keep running, Lai. I don't know where you are. And there's a Komodo. Um. As long as you can run faster. Yep. <laughs> run faster than mine. <laughs> then we'll have to go well, back and save her. it does work when we're doing uh, the arc death runs. Yes. Can you load an existing prospect up to the server? Um, if you have the save file for it, yes. You have to do that with uh, FTP. So much? I showed how to do uh, file transfer protocol with FileZilla earlier on the vid, probably about the 30 minute mark. Um, and I also showed where the uh, prospect files are. So if you can find your prospect file and drop it in there, probably would work. I haven't done that yet, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Unless it's in another format or something. There's a wolf here. Hi. Yeah, the bow's not drying. There it is. Hey! Don't make me waste my arrows. Oh, God. Look at my special space station arrows. Alright, we're gonna get it with the knife. Or I'm gonna die. I'll probably die. Woo! That was close. 
Oh, my arrow's back. There's one. There's the other. I guess I'm gonna have to make some arrows on planet pretty soon. Generally, I've gone like oh my with a stack of these and never lost just... them, but I'm down to nine from 25. Did you make a backlight? Yes. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Animals, will you just... Yeah. Alright. Are we mostly assembled back No. Get, get back in here. Oh, those animals. No. Not, not you either. Alright. I'm leading this one if you want to go jump on the saddle on the other one. Seriously. My, my, uh... My eye is switching. <clears throat> Is that it? We done? Like we're okay. done. I see one more up there. I think. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, you dumb. They're so naughty. We need a bigger pen, I think. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Okay. Okay, close. Okay, well, let's jump off and run. No, I have food. <gasps> okay. My buffalo was killed by a level. What does oh, that mean? Oh, by a level 26 jaguar. Oh, man. Oh, man. Does that mean I lost all of the stuff I just mined? <laughs> I don't know. It might be oh. on it. Guess now we find out. Hey, jaguar. Oh, Frank. My poor baby. Does he still have an inventory? Uh, he, yes, does. he does. He does. Uh, can you, can you I cannot oh. take very much though. <laughs> Let's I'll see. Get the rest of it. Oh, that's a shame. Frank, was it? Frank. He was a good buffalo. You need help? Okay. Shall we skin him and eat Can him? you guys grab all the stuff together or do you need us to come? Uh, let me see. Uh, we've and, got uh, almost all of it. Here, I can get rid of that. You got it? Well, there is another baby in there, so... Another baby where? Sorry, Frank. It's another baby buffalo in there. Where? In the thing, isn't in, there? In the pen? Yeah. Did you... You got it already? No. I thought there was just... No, I got one up there, and then I had another one. Oh. The one okay. that you went for. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. It's not telling. Just two of them. Get back in here. What's going on? Oh, my camera. Oof. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Missed him twice. Oh, he's tamed. Aristotle. <laughs> All right. Well, you can claim Aristotle when you get back. Miss Chris. Okay. Thanks. And I got another bird, so there's a bird for, for all of us, for most of us. Are you going to be able to uh, make it back, you guys? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Just slowly. I'm just hitting back now. But I'm being over. attacked by a kimono. <laughs> by a kimono. <laughs> all right. Well, before I'm responsible for anything else dying, guys, I think I am going to log Stop. out. Hopefully everybody makes it back fine. Alexa, stop! <laughs> I need your help, monkey. Just uh -oh. for a second. More <laughs> deadly adventures in the dark. No, no, no. Oh, what are you doing out here? Uh. Oh, that's no good. No, no, no. <laughs> we need like a second door or something that we can get in and out of. Yeah, an airlock. Sure. And I uh, think maybe uh, the food trough could use to be moved like in the middle, like the water thing is. Okay. It's empty now, anyway. Oh. I'll pick it up. She said Alexa stop and your Alexa dinged. <laughs> so My Alexa put, like, freaked out because I said I was being attacked. <laughs> no, really? if you put it so it's like one, one line, so they can be on both sides. Yeah, there. That'll be good. Yes. Alright, and it needs food in it. Yeah, that 
That's the difference. All right. Oh, slick. Okay. <laughs> I got pumpkins here. You can give them pumpkins. Yeah. Oh, and there's the berries in the, uh, the fridge too, so I'm just gonna put some of those in there. Yeah, there's some meat in there now. I wonder if there's something they won't go up, like... I don't know, if there's something we can, like, jump on the stairs or something like that. They do ramps. You're a bear. Uh, isn't there ladders? Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet they don't go up ladders. I don't know, they might. <laughs> it would be hilarious if they could go up ladders. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> Seriously? I <They> tried. <laughs> this is like in Ranch <laughs> Sim. Whenever you open the gate, they like immediately all run for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, now I'm going to try to sign out, guys. Yes. Thank you um, for the help. Oh, yeah. Get some raw meat in here. Actually, we have the kitchen bench. I can start making uh, animal fat in preparation for pie. Ooh. We've got some uh, burnt flour and yeast in nice. the Ooh, it's so loud. The thunder and lightning. Yeah, it's not a real Icarus stream until we have pie, but that's going to have to wait till next time. I, I have a just... steam. Got electrocuted. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh no. <laughs> this is a comedy of errors at the very end. <laughs> we were doing so well. <laughs> Everything went to hell. Are you okay? Do you need food or something? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody for joining, hanging out. So you guys can keep playing as long as you want. This server is here. Um, and hopefully you know the protocol where if, if everybody signs out and you want to join it again yourself, you're going to you're gonna enter a lobby instead of right into the server. And from the lobby, you'll have to load this save. And when you load it, you may or may not crash the first time, but just go right back in and then you'll be able to join. Um, okay. If you have trouble with that, let me, let, you know, let me know. But the... Um, Sometimes it takes trying twice to actually get in because the first time it just starts the server, but you can't get in because the server's not up yet. If that makes any sense, uh, it's a little, it's a known bug of it, but uh, you can get in the second try. Anyway, guys, that was a big adventure. Um, yeah, we started with the little tutorial with the sponsored part of the stream where I worked on uh, helping people uh, learn how to start their very own server, and it sounds like. At least a few people actually did um, from that. Uh, hopefully others did. If you did, let me know. Leave me a comment, and uh, in this, uh, in the, in the VOD afterwards, let me know if this helped you or if you have other questions. Definitely let me know. I'm hoping to do more like that. That was a pretty cool opportunity. Um, yeah. And then once we actually we started a demo server, I got on to demonstrate it worked and then got out of there. And then we went back on to this one, which is the one that's going to be ongoing. So, yeah, Iron Mine has an Icarus server now. We can start open worlds. We can start prospects and missions and uh, outposts. I don't know why anybody would ever want an outpost on it. Those are kind of lame, but uh, <laughs> they're only like one grid. Um, but, yeah. So uh, expect some more Icarus content in the future and uh, folks working on this. And anybody on Iron Mind who want to get on here, uh, it's not like before when only a f set eight people can go on. It's eight people max at a time, but people can switch in and out. Everybody can play on here. So, yeah. Um, and everybody else, thank you very much. Um, our servers are sponsored by G Portal. There is a link down in the description where you can click on that link, get 10%, and affirm to them that they made a good choice by sponsoring us. And if you want to play with us, um, you just have to become a patron of myself or a Raleigh. My link for that is also down in the description. Uh, if you want to get on and 
join all the uh, stuff going on. Oh, I'm about to die of thirst. <laughs> I better sign out quick and go handle that. Uh, but anyway, everybody, thank you for making it to the end of the stream. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody, for playing with me. And, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.